Yo the gamers, welcome to episode number two of Kill and the Diamond. This game we're gonna be playing Kill and Senna and the Vagar Bliss Crank. Bit annoying that I didn't notice the matchup, so I didn't take a Mar, which would have been better, but oh well. Should be able to win this lane anyway. Vagar's not really very strong in the early game. So hopefully we can punish him before he hits level six, where he starts to become a little bit of a threat, but still. Probably all overall a bit on the weaker side. Just as long as he doesn't get a lead and starts one-shotting us. Could have also run Flip Forward this game. Probably would have been the better choice since they don't really have tanks. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to whether Vi started bots at her top side, so I gotta respect the fact that she may be ganking since I failed to capture that. So we'll just let it push towards us if possible. Shouldn't even be hitting the coster. Sadna should definitely not be hitting that coster. Okay, yeah, Blitzcrank might try and go for a hook now. Doesn't matter too much if he hooks me when Vagar isn't even in range to follow up. Okay, we see my top side, so presumably she did start bot side. Would have been good to note. There's another trap under Bliss Crank there. Oh, god, that sucks. Okay. Wasted a lot of mana there. Oh well. I must yeah, I misplaced the trap. It should have been rooting him. Either that or the center root just didn't last long enough, I'm not sure. Ooh. Don't what I can, but uh yeah. Can't really, if I enter the Vigor cage, I'm gonna be stunned anyway. That's rough. Alright, that's not bad. Some damage to the Vi. So this is the kind of thing we need to not be happening because again, if Vagar gets a lead, then the matchup actually does become rough. His Bliss Crank has all the tools they need to actually engage, so we just need Vagar to not be strong enough to be one-shotting us. Nice one. Alright, let's try and crash this wave as hard as we can. Think and wait. This pit, this thing literally means kill the minions, man. Like, come on. Push, push forward, push. She just watches me push. What do you want to do? I don't. I don't want to do Drake. I want a base. Uh, we'll go for Berserkers since they'll help us dodge the Bliss Grand Cooks. The more move speed you have, the easier it is to dodge skill shots. It'll technically also make it easier to dodge like the Vagar W and the Vagar Q. Especially the Vagar W. <laughs> Otherwise I would have done Nuncriver for easier loss setting. If they didn't have such a skill shot focused lane.
She might be in trouble here. She is very dead, I think. Where is she? Okay. Don't even need to pop Ghost to chase the Vega down there because I've got the Berserker's move speed. But now I'll pop it because now I can really continue the aggression. Ah, no, I didn't mean to get stunned. Oh well. Maybe still a kill on Blitzcrank? Yep, that's kill on Blitzcrank. Perfect. Zerg is doing a lot, doing a lot of work there, just helping me chase down Vagar. It's like a delay popping the ghost until later on. Uh, actually, we can stick around for another wave. That way, I can also get. The plating and noon quiver. Just landing on my Q so it hits as much of the CS as possible. Oh shit, I didn't mean to get on here, my bad. Probably gonna die now. Although I can try and fight back. So there you go. Ah, I missed the Q. Oh, okay. It's gonna get blocked by Vig. Never mind. <laughs> Did not get blocked by Vagar. Good to know. Alright, now we can definitely base. Is this by level 6? Yes, yeah, so we'll retreat all the way to the turret. Play it safe. Kind of annoying. This is recalling or delaying my recall, but it is what it is. Gotta respect it. Was tempted to get cold there, but it's a little bit late for it, and we'll definitely get a lot more damage in fights out of Crit Cloak. Since you can see, I'm doing a lot of auto attacks every time we get into fights, because so far, like, pretty much every fight just comes down to me doing all of the damage instead of doing nothing. So that's a lot of time to actually be able to get crits. Which can carry the fight, or give me a kill that I otherwise wouldn't get it. Alright, I want to try and help here. Oh, that's already flashed out, okay. Presumably he flashed anyway. I didn't see where Vagar went, is he in a brush? Could've also just gone on Vagar. I stomp him 1v1 still, at the moment. Oh. How the fuck did he end up there? Let me have it- Ah, oh, damn. Oh well, that was pretty troll of Vagar. I'm assuming he didn't steal it, right? No. Alright, and I'm out of here. I'm not good enough for the pickaxe. I guess I'm using my ultimate. It didn't really matter. I'll have it up by the time I need it anyway, I guess. Um, I think we should do Crack and Slayer this game. Otherwise, this time Kench might get a little bit hard to take down. Already, it seems like he's already starting off with some sort of lead. So let's make sure we have enough damage to take him down. We, we're, paired it, we're pairing it with lethal tempo anyway, so we'll have some attack speed to make use out of it. Oh, failed to dodge that one. Shot. 
Just go ahead and shove them in. If Senna manages to lend a W on either one of them, I would be a free W, but I want Mini Cover, though. <laughs> Can't step up there to do that. Now Bliss has no hook, though, so now it's good. There's a trap under the turret where they might miss it. I can't auto Vega back yet, even though I got a headshot. There we go. And he's dead. Didn't even need the trap. There's another one. Oh, shit. I need to flash out here. I'm just doing as much damage as I can. Oh, okay. Who's TPing? Okay. That's time crunch. Wait, how did Senna die? What? I'm good. <laughs> mm, maybe a bit overkill. I can't follow up. Like, if he flash cues me, I'm pretty much dead. But I can maybe just get this honey fruit. Okay, it's chasing her. I can do it. Can you get this honey fruit? And now, join the fight again. Oh. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, I just barely die there to Vega R only. Vega R and this is rune. Oh well. I was playing with fire with that E. Ooh, and that was an 800 gold shot down to Vega, so definitely not worth it. Oh well. We'll go for Infinity Edge for now, I think. Bloodthruster would also be decent, like, against most of their comp, but it would be really bad against Tom Kench for actually killing him. I think we can maybe do Bloodthruster third or fourth. That's not good. This figure might be killable with my ultimate. I just need vision of him and for Blitzcrank to be out of the way. Here we go, here we go, come on. Splits in the way? Oh, okay, he isn't. Oh, wait, what? Oh, dude, I thought I was the one getting hooked there. Only was Senna. Okay, well, at least I cancelled the Vegar's recall. Hmm. Okay, I'm slightly under turret here. Not worth taking all that damage, but... At least it was pretty clear that I wasn't gonna die there. Oh, man. Plating's run out. At least we get a turret now. What? That bliss crank. Come on. Holy shit, thank god. <laughs> Plus one. And now we base. Just placing as many traps between me and Vi as possible, so she has to take a word path thing to get to me. Uh, I don't know how she didn't proc one of these, by the way. She literally ulted right into them. Like, sure, she can't get rooted because of the ultimate, but she should be, like, at least getting marked by them. For more damage for me. At least a smite. Nice one. We'll go bot, pick up this wave. I cannot afford to falter. Always maintain a proper chain of command. Now we can path towards mid. Did Bliss Frank just flash? I'll try and all zero for damage. Okay, that's fine. Would have preferred it on Xerath, but it will. At least Bliss Crank is also like a chip that's more likely to die than Xerath is. Xerath is better at avoiding damage. Oh. Damn. Ow. Uh, kind of too late to get the bot lane since I got distracted by that fight, but... Can shove the next wave at least. Ideally it should be Jace that rotates though, so I can actually siege mid. 
but uh, if I can't get him to do that, then I should just keep rotating bot. The worst thing to do is just ignore Vagar and let him free farm while I have to share farm with the enemy, well, my mid laner. I think he just realized that I could kill him really easily. I want to show him another wave. Uh, it's kind of awkward that this pink is denying my vision, but I think it should be fine. Nearly gonna fit into edge. <laughs> so serving that wave basically buys me more time to rotate to a fight here before Vagar can actually crash this wave because look how far away he is. Um, probably just not gonna fight though. Or I, no, actually I can fight. I don't have blue trick yet. Okay, I got this now. Dead. Nice one. Yeah, so it, all, it took Vagar up, up until now to actually crash that wave under turret, and in the meantime, I've just fucking won a team, won a fight for my team, and got a bunch of kills. Now I'm not gonna be getting there in time to defend that turret, but that's fine because we trade one for one in turrets, and we also get a herald, and we also win a fight. But if there's nothing going on mid, where by the time I've spent my like 30 seconds pressuring that, either me or Jason needs to rotate bot, right? But if there is something that's worth fighting for, then it's fine if Vagar gets to the turret because it's not worth the trade. Anyway, I need to recall now. Um, yeah, we can for sure just go Bloodthirster here. Although they have a tank, he hasn't even started building armor yet, so I don't uh, I don't feel very pressured to build Lord Dominix yet. He's going to be somewhat tanky, which is what the Infinity Edge is for. But we definitely don't have to build Lord Dominix. We can afford to build Bloodthirster for safety and dueling power. And sustain. It's going to be important against the Xerath as well, I think. But tankiness in general will also be really good against the unavoidable uh, Vi Engage and Vagar Burst. I'm on the job. Hello, Kench. What the fuck? Okay, thank god. Either Vi didn't have ult or she just didn't use it in time. But she definitely should have used it on me. She might have thought she could take me down without it. But not with my flash up. Uh, I need to be careful. The Xerath ulting me would kill me. I don't even want to ult him because then he can ult me. I can do it now. He's distracted with my team anyway. Do with life stealing though. Okay, I got some. I'd like to not base until Vamp Scepter if possible. Also get a toppling turret. Awesome. I should have Vamp if Gromp is up. Perfect. Anyway, I should also be more vocal about getting Jace to go, but not right now, obviously, but in general, haven't pinged him yet a single time or said it in chat. Been too lazy. That's no guarantee that he'd move anyway, though, even if I do type it. Uh, okay, not much to do to buy there. I can't 1v1 her. Or at least I can't chase her down to kill her. She would escape easily. Is there a fight there? Yeah, there is. Just dropping a kench. I think I may have misplaced it. No, it's all good.
Oop. No, I clicked the wrong one. No, it doesn't matter. God. Because he would have blocked it for Zerath anyway, right? But at least he could have... Uh... Fuck it. Nah, I'm being way too greedy here. Yeah, my bad. Oh, hello. She has an ult, right? At least in this spot towards me, though. Just in case. If she does have ult, I'm probably dead. Okay, now I'm fine. Oh, wow. Okay, she did have ult. Jesus. <laughs> all good, all good. We just burst it down. How much do I need? Okay, I got blood there, so I'm going to be huge now. Alright, Kill's gonna get mid farm, so I would like Wolves, but if Elise takes those, then I'm just screwed. There's not much I can do. Maybe I can get a top lane wave. Yeah, Zerath is pushing that in. This is another rotation I'd like to make. Oh, uh, no, actually, Kill's going for it as well, so I can't even do that. But if she didn't, like, this is another rotation that I'd like to make. I'd rather be on the, you know, middle of the middle of the map on mid lane, actually impacting shit, but it's the kind of adaption you would have to make to actually get farm. Whereas here, instead, because that kill actually left, then I do get to stay mid. Uh, now it's Chase that's just getting no farm because he came mid where I'm already farming. I'm trying to ult Zerath here. Poke on Zerath is actually very valuable. Even though it's, you know, um, kind of hard to actually follow it up with anything to kill him because of his range. Just because he's gotten zero sustain, there's no way for him to recover that HP except by recalling. It's the same for Vagar except he can use Zanias, I guess. But generally, like, the ulting the ADC falls off later on into the game because they got lifesteal, so they, it, the damage onto them doesn't quite stick as much as it may have done in laning phase. Like, if Xerath were to ult me to 20% HP, eventually I'm gonna end up back at full HP anyway without recalling, right? And it's the same logic. Yeah, let's get this. Should be free. I should have blocked off that area, though. I should have placed the trap there. Oh. Oh no, that's far too many people. Sheesh, okay, my bad. That's not good. The kill just left without using anything though. She has ult up, she's full HP, full mana. Was she not there? She ulted me, I could've put in some work. Me being low HP doesn't matter if she's there. Yeah, I mean, she's right here. <laughs> she she got zoned by Blitzcrank, but it doesn't matter if Blitz hooks her. Because it's just Blitzcrank. Yeah, no, she played that very bad. Oh well. Unideal, but we'll try and get work past that. I think I probably should go for Lord Dominix now, because they're starting to build a lot of armor. On the Tom Kench, on the Vi, on the Blitzcrank. Fire cannon can be final item. Also hard at the life still when uh, they have Baron buff by the way because you do reduce damage to minions. Alright, we should be able to get this Drake and that should be our soul. Wow, that reached me. All good. Oh, it's gonna get blocked by a tank. Oh well. Nice one. They don't have vision in there, do they? So, you keep hitting those traps. Oh, let's drag it out. Drag it out, drag it out. Actually, we should drag it over to the left. To the, sorry, to the right. Trap under Vi, she should be dead. Oh, okay, she still just barely dies. Somehow to Elise instead of to me, but I'll take it. Alright, they're gonna smite now. Do we have smite? We don't. Wait, we need to wait then. How does this- does this sound like it's just intentionally walking through everything, or what? 
Okay, the chef's my back, she does. Let's do it. Perfect. Okay, they probably have vision here. Nice one. I'm gonna kill them all. We'll focus Zerath. Most important to kill him, so he doesn't kill my teammates since he does the most damage. And perfect. No more Baron buffs, I believe. Oh, oh no, okay, so they, still, so they still got one on Vagar. Must have fled the fight like a coward. Oh, wait, no, 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 if I place the trap under him. Oh, man. Didn't expect into Zanya's. And I didn't expect to crash into the cage there either with my E. Thought I was far enough in that I wouldn't. Oh, well. Yeah, definitely need Lord Dominic's. You can see how much I'm auto attacking their tanks and fights. Okay, so you get 5.25% lifesteal from Bloodline now. That's such an awkward amount. What the fuck? Why couldn't they make it like 5.5? <laughs> That's such a weird nerf. From a clip. Like, it used to give, what, like 12%? Then they nerfed it to 9. That's 5.25. What the fuck? Alright, we'll sell Darren's Blade for Lost Whisper. <clears throat> I cannot afford to falter. Oh, that's not good. Holding on to my ult until I actually see a good opportunity to ult a squishy where it won't get blocked. Holy shit, Kale. Yeah, Frackin would be so nice for poking their mages. There's not much to do here. Okay, so we're basically we basically want to recall, I think. And just wait for Baron. Well, do Baron, because it's about to come up. But stop, 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 stop. I have to stay just in case there's a fight here now. Vagar? Uh, this isn't gonna help much. Hmm. I just wanted to recall. Now we don't have a jungler. Baron will have to. Um, I mean, in, th in theory, we can do it anyway. We can probably just rush it. We can just see and see if they try and respond. I'll play some traps here. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, we're gonna melt it. They're not responding in time. Perfect. We don't need at least a smite to secure that if they're just not going to contest anyway. And thankfully on, uh, if you're playing red side, which is what we are, and you sit up on the Baron here, you can just zone the enemies from even getting to the pit. Whereas if you're blue side, it's a lot riskier to sneak the Baron in this situation because they can easily just like sneak up to the wall, flash over, smite steal. Harder to zone them. No 
Just ult him while I can. Get more Zareth. Doesn't matter who, just as long as the damage sticks. Damn it. That's fine. Huh, guess I should have ulted Zareth, huh? All good. He still dies, it just costs uh, at least some HP. Okay, they're all pushing top for some reason. So what we should do, we just want to push mid here. Or I just want to push mid. Kill being bot is fine. Nah, she shouldn't have recalled or TP'd, whatever. So I'll push bot then, I'll push mid. They can't match our double baron push on top lane. Is he trying to lure the wave away? Not even close. Okay, who's alive? Nobody. So I can life still up. And they surrender, okay, GG. You what a gamers, we are back for another killing game. What the hell is going on there? What the hell? Wait, that was their jungler. He's gonna be super delayed there. Alright, anyway, we're gonna be playing killing Lux. Really terrific bot lane. Into Misfortune Karma, not so terrific. Gonna probably level traps at level 2. That way whenever Lux lands a Q, I'm gonna be able to pull it up with the trap. To get a really nasty combo. Here we go, level the traps. Gonna place one directly under the turret where they're hopefully not gonna see it. If they did see it, they might try and step on it now. So I want to stand in a position where I can still follow it up, but it seems like they haven't. Ooh, I'm just not in position, so we're just gonna go immediately with the Q, not with the trap. Alright, nice one. We still get the. Cannon. Also, once again, I should have switched the fleet for work. My bad. You won't escape. I think Lethal Tempo is at least decent in the previous game, though. They ended up building quite tanky. Who knows? Maybe it happens again. Oop. Drop under Karma. Now another way she's running. Ooh, but she sprints away with that E. So, can't place another one. But sometimes you can do that. You can just force them or... Bait them into walking into the other one. Oh. Okay, she's dead. Oh, wow. Just a Lux, though. And I don't have heal. And even if I did, it won't save her. So. Hmm. Okay. Wait, this could be bad. These minions are cucking my E. I can't fucking E this karma. That's so annoying. Because I don't want to use E just to deal no damage with it. Uh, Actually, I might want to leave the wave here. Yeah, it would be too risky to shove, I think. I beg the karma just starts. Oh, hello. Pop Ghost. Uh, I'm not gonna kill her though. Where am I? We actually killed her. Okay. That was pretty pathetic from Karma, but I'm not complaining. Let me shove out the wave though. If we have three people here, which we should because luck should be on the way, then we can shove this wave out for free. Doesn't matter if the enemy jungler shows up. But Lux is not on the way. This is awkward. Okay, she's just hopefully breaking the freeze. Nah, not really, because this cannon is going to take forever to die. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot, man. Like, I have to, I just have to leave it. There was no point actually canceling my base without you helping me shove that out. Now I'm just delaying my own base for no reason. Alright, I'm gonna do coal this time. Coal, double longsword. I will do double push and I can't be bothered waiting 10 gold. Why am I getting pinged here?
Why is Lux leaning mid? This is a very annoying game. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. What's going on? <laughs> Support of combat on mid lane. Karma got jealous of Lux getting to solo farm mid. It's like, is Lux mad because I let her die or something? Because that had nothing to do with me. I literally... I placed a trap under the person who she... Root, but then they got one shot by Lux. Yeah, I gotta guess Lux is trolling. Weird. Fuck. Let's crack this case Gotta admit, I would have had a lot more last hits there for one new cover. Oh, he wants to do Drake. This is not a good wave stay for me to do Drake, though. Lux, Lux can help him. Because the thing is, if I leave the lane while it's pushing away from me, that means their minis die at a very fast pace and I just miss out on a lot. Oh, god, the final setting is terrible right now. Can come block it in time? What? That wasn't gonna kill her, by the way. That was never gonna kill her, I knew that. Kamer should have known that. Okay. Nice one. Use target champions only for that one. We should play some vision. Okay, they have a pink. Oh. I took the risky pathing for no reason. You just have to pop the ghost to escape there. I think Lee is flanking, right? Yeah. He's only level 5, though. Oh, fucking misfortune, level 6. Oh, I got another potion going. This is quite annoying. Should have just popped around. Wouldn't have had to pop ghost just to run. Where's Leeson? I don't know that he's left. I think I'm gonna have to leave the wave here, which makes it quite suboptimal that Lux use the on it, because down it means that a lot of these minions are gonna die for no reason, but don't have time to show this out. Definitely not without Lux's help. We got another one potion. I just need to fucking death in this game. This is ridiculous how my team is so toxic without like for no reason. Like this game is going fine. Lux started trolling because she traded one for one, like what? How was I going to save her from the turret shot? Just want to make sure she's low so we have a better chance of winning any fights. Oh, that's not ideal. She's probably gonna <laughs> flame me now as well. Like, ping me. Didn't see that I was massively chunking out the misfortune. At least Yana is doing well. Thank god this misfortune is being kind and just breaking the freeze because she could be denying me all farm right now. Only missed one cost there.
Should have also gone for that coster. Okay, maybe I can just survive away for I think they've recalled. Oh no, they haven't recalled, they've gone mid. So I could try and uh, help whatever's going on mid, but instead I'd rather just go for the guaranteed objective. My team isn't helping anyway, so there's no chance we'd be able to do anything mid. But I do get just two free platings here, which is nice, as well as the free wave. I uh, could really do a some vision in that try. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, Lux is gonna remove the vision, so let's try and support her this time. So she doesn't die to listen and blame me again. Oh, I missed her. Hello again, Leeson. Well, you're forming up pretty nicely. He's got 30 more CS than Leeson. That's not bad. Now can I shove in base? Because that's what I wanted to do when Lux went to contest vision. Oh, we're doing dr drink. Why? Ooh, this misfortune is taking so much damage from Drake and from me. Look at me out. Oh no, that's not good. Now can I find a base? Because look at my gold. <coughs> okay, in the meantime, this wave state is pretty decent for us. It should be pushing towards us. Alright, finally. Ooh, I think she's dead. Yep. Very dead. I'm sure she's pinging me now as well. Mirror real insult. She just can't accept blame for her own mistakes. Actually, maybe I can contest the Drake myself. So karma's low. Ah, fucking missed again though, god damn it. Damn it. Didn't want to give her a free heal there. Oh no, Saul. Wait, this guy might have ult. Okay. Nice one. Sadly, I don't get to chase him down because he ran in the opposite direction. Or ch chase his teammates down because he ran in the opposite direction of them. At least I guess something. Oh, this could be good. Yeah, that's a kill for me. Perfect. I'm sure Yi isn't happy about that, but I'll take it. Cross even my support is trying to take farm here, not just the Yi. Ah. Alright. <clears throat> Go ahead and base. And ooh, is that gonna be a tank Mordekaiser? Because he is kind of building tanky. I think I'll just do Kraken Slayer again. I suppose next item will be Infinity Edge once again, just the same build as last game. Can use this to get to wherever I need to be faster, I guess. Could do Wolves and then see if I want to go bot or something. Or if I want to help Yi. Mm. 
wouldn't be a good fight, I don't think. Yeah. I'll just take Gromp again, also, rather, while I'm uh, waiting for their ball to shove this in. See, I'm not expecting these fights to happen because they just happen over nothing. There's no objective or anything. They just, they just happen, <laughs> completely unpredictably. Uh, that cloud ult might be for me. No, it's for mid. Do I just keep pushing here then? I think I should. I'm not gonna be able to defend one before anyway. Wow, wait, this is taking so long. I actually could have maybe done something, but I'm committed now. Problem is, it's also gonna look to, to my team like I'm trolling. I just refuse to participate in fights, but I'm just trying to do the best I can. Maybe we do something to Mordekaiser here. Fuck. Let's place the trap. What the hell? Run or the turret? And... Ooh, okay, nice. Didn't quite place the trap in time because I wasn't expecting him to be snared there, but... That's good. Ooh. Hello. Oh, fucking hell. Wait. Jesus, dude. <laughs> that guy was so confident that I wouldn't be getting help. And he was right, but what a bold assumption. Mrs. 1Q keeps on chasing me for the other one. This is a little bit risky, but we've got, actually got some allies behind us this time. Alright. <clears throat> Time to base. I'm sitting on far too much gold, and Drake is up in one minute, so we definitely need to spend our gold before then, at the very least. Alright, can't sell coal for Crick Look, so we just won't sell it at all. A lot to listen. Actually, no, no point. Not until it would actually kill him. I don't think it would kill him yet. If he gets a little bit lower. Ooh, that's not good. Well, I'm com on completely the wrong side of the fight now. That sucks. Well, Drake isn't up yet. We can force them to come mid by pushing here. They'll need to defend. Or they can kill Yi, who's greeting for his blue buff. I guess I'll just get a free turret here then. It's not too bad trading a tier 2 turret for a drake. Uh, this guy is gonna have ult though, I need to run. At least we know he doesn't have flash, he already used it on Lux before. <sighs> he's so annoying because... <laughs> oh, okay, he's not actually gonna fully chase me down, so I can actually do at least this camp. Oh, no, it's going to be Karma that interrupts me. And she's dead. Perfect. Almost get infinite edge. How much do I need? 188. Yeah, okay, pretty much. I can just sell coal. I can base now. Fuck. Fuck. No! <laughs> Fuck, man. That was desperate, but I would have actually lived if I didn't fucking flash into the queue. Oh well. That's kind of unlucky. 
I assume he didn't know I was there, he just randomly ran into me. Oh well. As long as they can't do Baron, it's fine. It sucks to lose both summoners though, not even just one. Don't take the farm. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. With her ultimate as well. And then E would have sufficed. I guess I'll go mid because she's gonna continue farming. I'm not gonna get anything here. I guess I'll go for Scuttle Crab. I'll go for red buff. I work for its people. No one else. A true professional. Ow, god, that hit me for longer than I expected. Could be a call. Oh, that's gonna be a wisdom adult. Oh well. We could have done Baron, honestly, even without Lux. I think we should have done it, but we had a small window to start it since Lee was coming up. We needed everybody to be on the same page and rush out at the same time. I don't have time to ping them for the call. Is Lee in there as well? I don't know. A little bit risky of me, but... Alright, I'm gonna back off. No, 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 okay, I see Lee Sin. I was gonna say I'll lure him towards me and then back off, but we see that he's not coming for me, so I can just commit. Alright, I think this I think this is uh, another game where we can go Bloodthirster third instead of Lord Dominic's. Oh that's a lethality cloud as well. For now we'll just get BF sword. Yeah, this Lux has the most deaths on the team by far. She is literally just running it down. There's no reason to die nine times in a game like this. It's not like they're specifically targeting her or anything. No reason for her to have four more deaths than the next person with the most deaths. What the hell? Mordekaiser. Speaking of running it down. What was that? Are they on Baron actually? Or was he distracting or what? Cause they might just have started Baron there. If it, yeah. It's too late for my team to do anything about it though. I'm just gonna push mid. We know we have a free Drake, so... Maybe a Ronin's Hall can do something? I don't know. Do I also just go for the inhib? I think I do. Okay. They're kind of distracted with the Rill and Soul. I might just get an inhib here. This could be really good. If they only get a Baron, while we get Drake and inhib. Yep, awesome. Somebody base, but not in time. Too late. What is that TP for? Huh? What the fuck? One of the pointless, most pointless TPs I've ever seen.
Should have saved that headshot for the last set. It's all good. I still got it anyway. <coughs> oh boy. Found Leeson. Can I help him? I might be able to trap Leeson somewhere. I'll place a trap here. I'm so fucked. Wait, fuck. No, fuck, I was so close. Dude, I panicked. What was that made me panic? Hang on. Let's see if I can see that replay. Shut down. I can I confuse something with something else. Oh, I think it was Leeson using W and Karma. I thought he was somehow queuing me. Yes, this is all good. This is all good. There's a trap there, then yeah, I've fucking flashed out because I thought that ah, was a pointless flash. Oh well. Should have just left. You to die. Because now we just lost two Baron buffs for no reason. At all. Hopefully, I at least get this red buff so I still get a red buff. <laughs> Where's my ghost and flash again, too? <clears throat> Damn, Cannon just barely died. Wait, did I say we lost Baron buffs? We don't we're not the ones with Baron. Never mind. Disregard that. All I lost was red buff. <laughs> red buff is what I was thinking of as Baron buff. <laughs> To be fair, I prioritize red buff about as much as I do Baron. As any self-respecting ADC should. It's rough. We can't really push another lane. We're basically just using this inhib to stall out the Baron. Oop. Nice one, holy fuck. Well that one didn't go bad and maybe we just end now. I think we do, yeah. Holy fuck. I guess our hip was good for something then. Or did you? Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Kill into Diamond. This time we're playing Kill and Milio against the fellow's Thresh. Gonna be starting off without any- Oh! Dude, I could have stolen that! My god, you dumbass! What the- Good thing I have reflexes, man! That, that blue would have been mine! Holy shit! Anyway, gonna be starting off this game without Ghost because of an early invade. I had to use Ghost just to make sure that I wouldn't die. I'd rather use Ghost than Flash. Nice one. Oop. Nice one. Okay, I feel like gonna get better at pulling this up, and I feel like this is a terrible level 1. It's a shame that I don't have Ghost because it would be so good for chasing a Phyllis down now. I'll just switch focus back onto the Thresh. And a Phyllis should be dead if he doesn't have heal. He does have heal. I'll just flash to make sure that I can't miss the Q. Where did Thresh go? Oh, there he is. Oh, Emilio. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> oh, the Caitlyn range. Oh, no, 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 no. I might kill him. I think, yeah, he's dead. That's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous... I have two CS and I have three kills. And all of the kills started after laning phase started. That is insane. 
But yeah, morale of the story, do not try and fight level 1 as a fellows. It's not gonna end well for you. So I want to. Do I want to slow push now? We can crush this. God damn that damage! I don't even need to base now though. We just need to play some vision. Make sure we're gonna be safe from any volley, any volley bear ganks. Does he have a ward? He does. All right, perfect. And there he is. All right on Q. I'm gonna walk up. Make it seem like I'm actually gankable. Actually, I probably played it too close. <laughs> oh no, he had flash this whole time. Alright, well I live. Wait, this Wally Bear? What? That was weird. Oh, I almost had a Phileos too. Damn, okay. I could leave this wave just pushing back towards me. But I also want to stack on my headshot. Nice, he should have saved his green Q for the cannon and lost it. Yeah, well, I don't want to base if they're not going to base, so I guess we'll just... No, 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 no! I fucked up. One more auto, maybe? No! Fuck, that sucks. My bad. Dude, I thought two autos would kill Aphelios. Probably was true until the red... Uh, until he healed from red, I guess. Anyway, oh good. We'll just get this, this... And this. And the wave of state is really good for us either way. Could have avoided... Really handing over that massive shutdown to Aphelios, but we are overall, overall still in a great spot. Still the golems. Wow. Came all the way over here to not steal free golems, okay. Because we know their bot lane have based, so they're not going to contest. Yeah, let's just zone thresh off here. Hmm. And I guess help Warwick secure this strike. Red was still frozen, right? Hmm, sort of. Not really, though. Missing out on a lot of farm there. I'm not paying attention to anything else until I got that cannon. Alright, here we go. There's no way he just stepped past that. What? Oh god, the root. Okay, nice one. Got him. What is going on this game, man? Holy shit. Actually, I should have been trying to reset my lethal tempo. Oh well. Dead. Love that combo. It's so satisfying when you land the Q and you know the ultimate is coming. I'm trying to hit the Void Link, but too late now. <laughs> Alright, nice. Well, let's go ahead and base now. There's no fuck it. There's a volley bear here. You can tell because Thresh wouldn't be going aggressive otherwise. If it was just a Felos, there would be no point. Okay, nice. Do I actually get the base now? <laughs> Next wave isn't a cannon wave. Uh, it's no way Mazahar is on his way again. 
Oof. Oh. Yeah, I would have based there, except the fellow says blue, so that means he has a lot of wave clear. So unless it's a cannon wave, I'm pretty sure he's going to crash that in time to make me miss a lot of farm. So rather than leave it frozen, pushing towards me, and instead I actually have to push a wave. Maybe this is good enough though. Hopefully, because now I'm the one that would have to push a cannon wave. To get a good base. Uh, that's not great. Does he get one kill? Okay, he does. Perfect. And it's Volibear that also gets a kill. Not... Aphelios. Oh, good. By the way, this volley bear is so bad. Like, what? It's weirdly bad. I guess the lethal tempo has been paying off this game since we've been doing some heavy skirmishing that should have never happened. At a much stronger level 1 thanks to that. Can also clear this pink. I'm guessing they've base, so we want to crash this. Fast. I'll just keep shoving under the turret. We can keep harassing them there. Kaelin is really good at pressuring under the turret. And this flash has to be pretty much too scared to engage. If he does try to engage, he can always just like eat a EQ combo. You see Malzahar? My trap still there? No. Ooh, nice try. <gasps> no way. Okay, I've still got him. Barely. Come on. All right, all right perfect. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice one. <clears throat> It'll save me a lot of trouble and a lot of summoners though if I just hit the Q before the R. We can probably get this turret and also go for this Drake, I think. Soon we'll work soon. I'll do 42 damage per auto to this turret. Alright, there we go. Um, We can wait until we shove this wave too. I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have headshot that. Should have waited. Hmm. I could also just space. Oh, hello. Dude, I was stuck in my recall animation. This should be good. Okay. Probably gonna live, unfortunately. <laughs> Need 170 mana for my QR combo, but I think he would survive it anyway. Yeah, he definitely would by now. But I guess we're just pressuring mid now. Oh. 
Oh, dude. My bad. I thought the Phileos mark from being able to target me was from my E onto him. I'll just... Oh, God. No, no, no. Didn't notice Volley Burn. My bad. I was trying to pay attention to see if anybody would leave Mazahar alone so I could ult them. My bad. Okay, at least he dies. Yeah, we're going Kraken Slayer again. Three games in a row. For once they actually build tanky. Not just build tanky, but like, you know, pick tanky. Okay, we got the blue trinket. That's one dead Vagar. And it goes to Fellas, how unfortunate. I'm, n I'm nearly in range for ult. Ooh. Whoever I hit, this is gonna kill them. Oop. There we go. Fucking hell, Warwick. Nice one. That was a risky headshot again. Alright, this time we can do Drake for real. For real, for real. Hello, Mazahar. Doesn't matter who this hits. Just want them all low. Ow. Nice one. Oh, wow, I ghosted because I thought he might need an extra auto. But as I was doing it, I was like, isn't that you just gonna kill him? And it sure did. Oh well. Really? Fuck. I need to get out of here. I must be dead. No. Really? That's a one turret shot. God damn. That was 500 damage. Oh, well. <clears throat> Should go for red buff now. Somebody else can get mid farm since I'm prioritizing red. No, oh, what? Dude, you're kidding me. I'm 9 and 3 and he won't let me have red. Fuck. Um, now I can stay mid. <clears throat> I can steal this. Oh, so close, man. He stopped hitting it. As if he knew. Okay. Fucking hell, what am I taking all this damage from? Alright, nice one. 
It's not just all Mazar Avoid links. I guess so. <laughs> no, so close, man. Holy shit, that was so low. If he didn't have overheal, he was dead there. Oh. Okay, nice. There's a trap under him. Oh, didn't do it in time, though. I guess he's got Merc Treads. Nope. Does he have... He must have Legend Tenacity at the very least. Surely. Missed. Damn it. Wait, I can still get him, maybe? No, I can't. Doubt this kills him, but worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking Voidling. God, it's so nice playing killing with Melee on having all this fucking range. I think it's forever to end if I don't base for items. I think I'll just base. <laughs> we could, like, technically the right move is also to do Drake, but I feel like that's very unnecessary. Compared to just buying some items and I guess doing Baron. <clears throat> And we'll get Fire Cannon. We're fucking melting them even without any armor pens, so I'm pretty sure we don't need it. You can go straight into Fire Cannon. I gotta say, even though um, Lethal Tempo is probably not as good as Fleet Work on Killin right now. We thought Tampa was definitely just the most fun rune. That's why I'm sad they nerfed it. Did I solo the Baron? Probably not. Alright, fine. Let's just do Bar Drake then and then do Baron. Nail Baron. And then we can push top. <clears throat> no matter the situation, a good investigator always remains. Just push. I mean we probably could, but it might also just be a stalemate like before. Cause that's where they can easily recover HP from the fountain, so. Like if 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 anything was it was a waste of time, it was going for Ocean because Ocean doesn't help us close out the game. Helps us win for the fights that we're already stomping. So instead we just want to get Baron, which actually helps for pushing. Now I'll go mid, Fiora can push top. Oh no. Okay, nice. Yeah, now we just stand easy.
But first allow me to display my damage. Holy fuck, my attack speed as well. No, I'm dead. And, 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 oh no, my KDA. Alright, GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of... Heal into diamond. Oh no. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, that's not amazing. Can do a lot of damage here though. Should have just started Q. Uh, do they have heal? They do. Nah, I need to back out here. Is she dead there? Not quite. Blitz should have her soon though. Well, so much for that then. Come on, man. Come on. There's no way. Oh, I would have done so much better if I started Q. Oh, well. At least they missed as much. No, they missed more XP than I did somehow. Nice one. That's an auto there. God, I am really fucking low right now as well. Anyway, once again, I forgot to switch my lethal tempo to flip forward. But once again, early fight means a lot of value out of lethal tempo there. At 25 seconds of uptime on it. I'm about to hit level 2 as well. No, wait, why didn't he hook there? Oh well. I think this is popping all the way around. I think she is actually, like, coming back to the lane. I don't think she's recalling. Yeah, exactly, so... I'll just keep slow pushing. Damn it. Should've been more patient. We're working to remove all the... Minions, which are body blocking for them. See, now he has a much easier hook. That's when he should have waited to hook. Here we shove again. She should surely base now. We could be in trouble though if um, we get ganked. Kind of just praying that I'm not getting ganked at the moment. There's not much I can do to ward it for it either if he just ganks from here. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a good ward, I suppose. <laughs> Does do exactly what I want it to do. Suppose we ward... Alright, it doesn't matter, he's mid at the moment. <clears throat> Alright, once again, no minion cover for them. Uh, except now that they do have minion cover. Let's... You can see the minions right in front of you! There was like six minions in front between you and Kai'Sa, man. <laughs> Okay, we see Kane popping topside. Perfect. He is just not smart enough to... ...gank ball when, like, literally, wh whichever jungler ganks here, kills the ADC. Whichever ADC. Okay, looks like the actual base, so we'll shove another wave. Or we'll work on this turret. Actually, I'll mainly just go for the wave. There we go. Alright, I'll leave it at that. I don't need to get those lost casters. This is enough for the wave state to be good. And since we're playing Kaelin versus Kai'Sa, which we mainly want to win through kiting, we'll go for Berserkers. <coughs> this helps two ways. The more attack speed, or sorry, the more movement speed that I have, the more, like, obviously, the more distance I cover when I move, which makes it harder for Kaisa to get in my range to actually attack me. And also, the faster my attack speed is, the less I, the, or less time I stand still for auto attacks. Hmm. But, oh, this is not our jungler. Nice one. Bro. Okay, I don't want to flash for it. Should have popped my potion, by the way. It's on the wrong slot. Can't 
quiet finisher. No! Rather choose W! Fuck, I'm dead now. God, that should've been fine. Oh, unlucky timing, man. It's not even worth it. Oh, well. Fuck, what are the odds she throws W there? But yeah, the more attacks we have, the less time I'm locked in place when I auto attack. Which again makes it harder for Kaisa to close that gap onto me, which is what she wants to do. I am not Piltover's dog. <coughs> people. No one else. Okay, we'll just slow push here. We're not gonna be able to deny any farm from Kaisa. By crashing since she's in lane so soon. We should be looking for hooks though. Whoa, not like that though. <laughs> we gotta acknowledge the fact that she can just get a spell shield. Hey Morgana, forcing me to stand in places I don't want to stand, just to not stand in her W. Oh, that could be good. Fuck, didn't place the trap in time though. Oh well. It's kind of awkward, I couldn't see exactly where she was supposed to be. That should be a free kill. Oh, blitz. It's all good, it's all good. Dude, okay. Dead. Leave it, leave it. Thank you. Good shit. Clear's pathing bot side, sort of. Although she's only going for Katarina. Alright, we see Kane. Just he completely ignoring Bolin. It's so weird. Like, our Leeson. I get it, like, he should have probably had a free dive, but, you know, it's a pretty low-level game, so I'm not expecting, like, the jungler that has his bot lane permanently under turret to, like, realize what opportunities are available to him, because generally what people think is, oh, this lane is pushed, then I can't gank it, you know? But for Kane, it's the opposite. For, like, low-level players think, oh, this lane is pushed, then I can gank it. And not only was it pushed constantly, but we're also low HP. And never once did he actually try and gank. So weird. I still haven't used cleanse a single time this game, by the way. I just don't get hit by Morgana bindings. Shut down. I will not I'd like to headshot Kaisa here if possible. There we go. Actually, I should have just ulted her there while I had the chance when I know Morgana isn't blocking. Whereas now Morgana can block if I just randomly decide to ult. We'll just crash this in. Wow, that was almost my first time getting hit by Morgana Binding. Thanks to minion block. Damn. Nice one. And she's dead. Damn it. Wait, I need one more item, then ult, pretty much. There we go. If she had, doesn't have heal, she's dead. Oop. Or, well, I guess ult. Nice one. Even without the auto, she might still have died, but better safe than sorry. If you saw that sexy-ass, like, 
auto attack into another auto attack that was like far too fast as if i had like way more attack speed than i actually do that's because your trap auto attacks can actually be an auto attack reset in fact even your net auto attack can be an auto attack reset so what I, I think what happened there is that i auto attacked kaisa and then immediately targeted the morgana that was trapped no actually it was the opposite wasn't it Ooh. Ooh, okay Maybe greeting a little bit, trying to get this turret, but... now nah, we got it. Oh my lord. I need to get out of here. At least you know Kassa doesn't have ult, so I'm not gonna get killed by that. Hmm, I could just recall, but... Losing out on a cannon wave... Doesn't feel like a happy prospect. So I'll just wait until this wave is gone. Then probably recall. By the way, we're not running celerity this game since we don't have ghost. We're just gonna go with absolute focus. I typically don't build zeal items too early on Caitlyn, so we would only be getting value out of the boots for ages. Actually, I didn't need the base, honestly. <clears throat> I'll go for a bloodthirster, I think. Honestly, I'm just so strong that. I just kept on laning and actually got a good base where I didn't miss any farm. Okay. Oh no. No blitz. He wasn't in position to defend. To protect as a support should. Oh. Oh no. No shit. She's gonna get away. Okay, we'll just push bot. No, no, no. Okay, I got the cannon, thank god. Uh, I did one miss click there, which cost me two lost hits. Strike should be pretty free. I won't bother chopping here because King could just get past it anyway. Oh no. Okay, thank god. Uh, shit, he's luring him right. Came right to me. Okay. Okay, we got the Drake. That's pretty worth it. Oh no, okay, thank god. No, bless crank. Probably didn't need the flash, but it looked pretty fancy, huh? <laughs> He's so gritty, he knew the trap was there, he just... Really wanted to go blitz. I need to pay attention to when blitz hooks somebody, exactly where uh, the hook actually lands them, because I don't even know. And it's actually quite important for very precisely placing kill and traps when somebody gets hooked. Oh, rip cannon. Uh, shit, it should have been Karina going bot, I think. Oh well, I'll go bot. I'll get there faster than her now. So if I ult Kaisa here, she might be scared off. Mm, no, okay, she's still gonna go for the turret. Shame. Sadly, I can't get her, so... So I was trying to skip. First time I've had to cleanse all game. <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna at the ready. I'm taking a risk here. Because I'm 1v2able here, but I can also potentially just 1v2. Also, the more I hit these minions, the more I life steal. Okay, they're not even sticking around. At least not Morgana.
Whoa, nice one, Lee. That was clean. Close, okay. <laughs> Morgana showed it herself. Ooh, shit. Ooh, that is kind of lucky that that didn't hit me. Damn. Mm. Would have been better on Talia, but it will. Splitscrank is actually going to die because he wants to get these <laughs> minion. Minion things. I lost hits with the support item. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to properly hit Talia until I've got Fire Cannon. Kane on the way. Apparently, Kaisa too. Wait, Kaisa has Guild Force. What? Who's faster, me or her? She has. Yeah, fuck it, she's gonna be faster. Killing is really slow. And I'm not running Celerity. Alright, nice one. Kaisa? <laughs> nice one. Yeah, she finally hit another one. Ha, <laughs> nice. Let's get on top lane. I think he just got two turrets by himself. Uh, I could do with basing here. <clears throat> Actually, I could have killed Talia. Oh well, too late now. Should get this trick. No matter the situation, a good investigator always remains calm. Surrender now. Do I need to hold Morgana? No, it's kind of like the most useless person to hold, but I'm just getting bored of holding on to it. Plus, the damage really sticks, and she takes a fuck ton of damage. She got so low off of that. Oh. Nah, I'm just gonna push mid. Oh man, they actually followed that up fast. Should I join? Too late now. I think even if I was there, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. He's dead. Oh, or is he? Fuck, I'm about to get stunned. But I got cleanse. Nope. What the fuck? He just dragged me back, man. That wasn't what I wanted. Oh, boy. Fuck, but uh. Also, not part of my plan was that I lost vision of uh, Kane when I meant to flash through the wall and finish him off with one auto. Oh boy. Team was fucked. This was a fucking disaster, man. A team over first hard there. Thankfully, they shouldn't be able to do Baron. Third. Jungler's actually down. Ours is up. I'll go do red buff. If I predicted that set would stick around though, it would have been better for me to go top. With Leewick to collapse on him. They should have just checked if he was recalling there. Didn't even check.
What's her movement speed? 3 Yeah, she beats me. <laughs> I will make them come. Bold claim, Timo. What's he packing? A 7 incher? Ooh. This is risky. Okay. Yeah, Kane didn't collapse on me anyway, thank god. But I didn't even kill Talia for my efforts. How did that hit a fucking minion instead of set? Okay, good. Don't care who the sets. But Kais is best. She doesn't have enough lifesteal to recover from it yet. Plus the lower HP they are, even as an ADC with lifesteal, the less likely they are to actually be able to lifesteal it back up. It's when they're closer to full HP that it's like even less valuable to ult them. Because it's so easy to lifesteal back to full HP. Uh, Yeah, I got a path all the way around, but this could be a good... Good fight. Good shot on Kane. Ah, fuck. Good shot on Talia, come on. Got her. <laughs> nice exhaust. A little bit too late, though. Well, did Timo make them come? Where's Timo? There he is. He made them come on mid lane. No way Morgana steals this right. He's about to have smite. Nice one. We don't have Lee Smite in time for the streak, so don't want to force that too hard. Mainly want to push, I guess. If we're pushing, then they can't do Drake. I would be confident about being able to zone them off of the Drake area, but not Kane. Can't zone them off of the walls. Shouldn't do that. It's too risky to lock myself into my Q animation. I'm gonna keep pushing. <clears throat> so I can't even really join this fight because all I can do is flank. I don't have a front line if I join this fight. This is completely pointless no matter what for me to join, I think. So we're just gonna push. The Cabernet Recall! Can we just recall instead of pushing top? Well, we could have had two inhibs here. What the fuck? The worst part is now I'm alone here. Okay, we got one inhib. Okay, it's fine. Katarina, no Katarina. Still live. Ooh, one out on them maybe would have killed her. Oh no. Oh no. No! The heal! Fuck! I stopped thoughtering because I thought she was about to die. I was also using target champions only while she was in the wave, and then she suddenly ulted away, and suddenly I was just making it harder for myself for no reason. It was a bit clunky. Oh well. Who got Drake? Oh yeah, they did. But we got an inhib for it. All good. Well, that's not good. Ooh, that could be okay though. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh. 
It would be so much easier to get onto Tilio, by the way, if I had Ghost. Oh, my bad. Should have been an easy dodge. Because with the, if I had go Oh, what the fuck? Wait. Come on, bro. God damn it. Crush his flash as well. But yeah, if I had Ghost, I can run down to Leah and eventually run her down and then just kill her, right? But at the moment, if I try and run into her, I'm just eating her Qs for no reason because I'm never going to actually catch her. So I can't touch Because she outranges me so hard with her Qs, I can't fucking touch her. It's like a bad matchup until I have Fire Cannon, sort of. But if I had Ghost, then I, it completely changes it because then, then I can just run her down. She outranges me, but eventually I reach her and then I kill her. Oh, there's nothing to steal here. I'll just base. I'll go for Arcanon already. Kind of annoying, though, that I wasted Cleanse and Flash just to burn the Talia Flash. I was hoping to get a kill on her. Oh, Lee Sin. Okay. Okay, when's the next objective? Baron in 150. Nice one. Wanna headshot someone? Boom. Book is still good, though, whether it's a headshot or not. Dead. Wow, he had an 800 gold shutdown. Didn't notice him getting so strong. No, no, no. She did it blindly. That's why I didn't expect her to even throw anything. Okay. Gotta stay away from the Morgana W. Life stealing up. Nice one. Actually, no point ulting. She's gonna go recover HP anyway, and if she gets hooked by Bliss, then she dies even without my ult. Could have saved her for something else. But I need the wave. Alright, this will set up a very easy burn for us. I'm out of position right now. And Bliss is dead, so let's call it quits. Where the fuck placed that? I think we'll want to do Drake first. If we do Baron, they're gonna take the Drake. Hello. Oh. It's you. Fuck, he might kill me. I don't think so, but we'll see. Oh god, fucking Talia's here as well. No! What the fuck are they doing here for? Like, it's like I said, they want to go for the Drake while we do the Baron. They must have had vision to collapse on me, because there's no way Talia would just be coming with... Unless they were trying to sneak the Baron, but... that would Like, it's weird, because they should expect us to want to do the Baron. I'm not sure what, what happened there. Oh, man. We filled the smite. Okay, no soul for us. At least this makes the game more interesting. Oh lord. <clears throat> See, now they're the, they got not only got the Drake, but they could also do Baron now. If they're smart. I guess a recalled. Morgana pushing bot. I guess they're not smart. They're trying to do it. They can probably succeed, it's just gonna take them a while, right? I mean, while set on zoning duty, I'm not sure I can contest, but I need Bliss to actually fucking play the game here. Buddy. Oh, his rage crit. <laughs> That's the last thing I needed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I gotta leave.
So I want to farm a little bit, then I got my Lord Dominix. We should have a decent chance of winning this, even if it remains 4v5. Especially now that I'm full build. But it's going to get harder and harder from here. I need to try and end fast. If we're going to win. Because now that I'm full build, I'm not going to scale any stronger than this. Except, well, except for level ups. Nice one. That damage sticks. She's not gonna recall, or if she recalls, then it's gonna be very inconvenient for her. Okay, she recalled. I am not Piltover's dog. I work for its people. No this is 200 that killed me. I only place one trap, which means they go to the left into the Teemo Shroom. <laughs> now I block it off. I got cleanse if I need it. Kaisa? Oh, do I need it? There is a king behind me, but so far so good. Okay. Should be dead. She, oh, she's gonna have the Zonyas, which means I place a trap. What? How did she not get hit by that? Can we focus Kane? Nice one. I got cleanse if I need it, so it doesn't matter too much if I get stunned by Talia. Wait, fucking hell. Just barely got Talia, apparently. I didn't expect her to die there. Okay, and we win. 4v5. Easy. Mm, okay, I need to cleanse just to make sure I don't die. Should have just cleansed sooner and fucking killed her. Oh well. Doesn't matter if one in hip spawns. Still got the other. There we go. GG. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did she die to? GG. <laughs> Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Kill into Diamond. This time we're playing Kill and Sona into Lucian Lux. Hmm, I was thinking it would probably be a Varus. Bots are rank cleanse, but I guess uh, cleanse will still be good anyway. But Lucian being as bursty as he is, he all might have been decent as well, or exhaust. Although, let's be real, I just would have gone ghost. I love ghost. Anyway, we got a fairly... Uh, ma a matchup that we have to play fairly defensively. Because we got Sona, who's going to be a hyperscaler and not so good in the early game. Right, so I'm going to ask her to max W as well. Last time I trusted a Sona to max W by herself, she did not. And it cost us hard. <coughs> But with the Sona's healing, we should be able to survive lane pretty easily because she is just a busted champion. With dummy max. This minion, fuck off. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna be leveling E here. No point doing traps, our support doesn't have CC. We're also not pressuring under turret. We'll just level E, so if Lucian tries to dash in on us, we can do an EQ combo. Like that. Didn't even dash, but you know what? Still a really good trade. I'll think twice about following up a Lux route again. Let's investigate. Nope, didn't want this cannon to go under turret. Oh well, I'll just use the key to make sure I get it.
See, so when she prepped the southern caster, naturally I assumed she was gonna prep the other one as well, right? No. No, she did not. Okay. Oh, they are staying. I figured Lucian had also based. Place to drop behind them. Hmm, they didn't walk into that. I'll charge up the headshot. Got him. I could see my ch my headshot charging up on minions. I was trying to charge it up on Lux, and I was like, oh yeah. He's one headshot away from death. Let's charge it up, then flash on him. I probably I took too long to do that execution, by the way. It was a really good idea with the placing the trap behind him, then doing EQ. But also took too long to do it. That's why he didn't walk into the trap. If I would uh, placed the trap like immediately and then EQ'd immediately, he wouldn't have had time to really register and probably would have walked backwards into the trap. Uh, what's going on there? I shouldn't even be pushing here. This Swift set is fine. I don't need the plating. Would be nice to get Noon Quiver, but whatever. I'll just get Cole. But I don't want to stay in lane here and have to get a worse base or get killed. Resolution is already back in lane. I'm just getting two potions. Fuck pinks. Literally, I can't, like, uh, every time, like, I was even watching, you know, Cookie Lol, like, another ADC YouTuber? I was watching one of his games the other day, or literally yesterday. You know, keep doing some research on the competition, as you would. And I saw him place a pink ward here, and I was like, man, I swear, every time I place a pink here, even if I have lane prowl, it always gets cleared super fast. And what do you know? Before it, before it saw a single jungle gank, before it cleared a single ward, it got cleared. Minus 75 gold down the drain. And uh, really, it's more like um, like it creates a hundred and five uh, gold death right because whoever cleared it gets thirty gold. It's like man, you're spending seventy five gold to give the opponents gold. Like what? Like obviously, pinks are good and the support should buy it for sure. But I'm really not convinced it's actually a good move to buy pinks and ADCs. Like it's too unreliable. You're not guaranteed to get value from it. It could literally be a bad thing. You have no way of confirming that it won't be. And I, f I swear it's going to be a bad thing more than it's going to be a good thing. That's been my impression from buying pinks throughout the years. Whenever I go back to trying them, I try them out for, I don't know, like a few weeks or something. And I'm like, yeah, no, I think I'm better off without them. So that's why I bought two potions instead of a potion and a pink. The pinks are just straight up worse than green wards were back in the day. They might be on Drake. Either that or placing some really deep vision. But they're probably on Drake, so I'll start shoving. Should have not hit it once. Yeah, they're on Drake. I fucking stole it. Let's fucking go. That's why. That's dude. I could have placed the warden here, but I was like, nah. I might. I might be able to steal the Drake, or might be able to kill somebody or something if I just place a warden in the pit instead. Fucking nice one. First smite from Trundle though. I should not have been able to do that, but just in case, let's place the ward. That sucks so hard for Lucian. By the way, he dropped an entire wave for that. I don't know how it took them so long to do the Drake, by the way, because I shouldn't have been able to get there in time. I don't think, but... For whatever reason, they just did it super slow. Meant that Lucian misses out on an entire wave. And I still fucking stole the Drake somehow. I think it was a fine... By the way, like, I think it was objectively the wrong call for Lucian. I think it was a fine time for Lux to go and do Drake with her jungler, but as the ADC, I don't think you can sack waves like that. It, this early, especially, it's just too bad. You can't be falling that far behind. Especially for something that's not guaranteed. As you just saw, the Drake wasn't... It should have been, to be fair, but... It's more It's more like a 90... 95% certainty than 100% certainty, you know? <coughs> Unlike the XP from a minion wave, which is 100% certainty. Let's wrap 
Anyway, I could do it basings soon. I'm sitting on a lot of gold even though I didn't get any kills. Uh, do I want to crash this wave? I think I'll just slow push this wave as well and then crash the next one. Could have used D on that, but I don't think it's worth the mana. It's just the cost there. Let's crack this case wide open. I'm sitting on no vision right now as well. It's another reason to base. Alright, we're definitely crashing this next wave, so... Actually, I feel we might be getting ganked, we'll see. Oop, nice one, Sona. Ooh, dropped the wrong person. Hmm, didn't need to cleanse. Oh well, double kill. Okay, they were not getting a gank, it seems, but I was willing to take that fight because if if they if we were getting ganked, we we're so close to the turret, it was just easy to escape there anyway, I think. Also, I, did Sona level up in the middle of the fight or what? Because surely they would not have taken the fight if she was already level 6. Oh, we got two plannings here, not bad. Just got a massive lead off of that. I got more than double the gold that I said that I that I had when I said that I got so much gold that I should base. And we'll round it off with berserkers. Awesome. This guy needs to get out. It's gonna get collapsed down, but I'm not gonna ping him. Cause it's not my place to tell him what to do. He's probably gonna get the kill though, somebody is at least. There we go. They're actually gonna win it. This rumble does insane damage, look at that. <laughs> Holy crap, nice one. Like I said, it's not my place to ping somebody. You know what they're doing. This is like the best place to place a pink though, because this is so hard to clear. As, you know, my side. I need to be winning lane really hard. It's when you're playing blue side ADC that there's like no good place to place a pink. But the problem with the pink here, for example, though, is that it's like... Hang on. Okay. It's like the... It's basically the same. It has the same function as pinking here. Except this is straight up worse because it gives you information later. And like, it might inform you of a dive, but it might inform you as the dive is about to happen anyway. Like, good players, instead of sitting around waiting for a dive here, they'll sit around waiting here instead. Oh, not bad. Oh, and <laughs> I still kill her anyway, what the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but the problem is, is that if you... Ooh, I hope someone kills her because I can't. Oh, I could have taken the turret though. Oh well. Yeah. But the problem is that uh, if you place the pink here instead because you're smart, well suddenly that pink is actually a lot harder to defend compared to a pink here. Because, I mean, the enemies, they can just push in a wave. Just go play some vision, place a ward here. Oh, there's a pink here. Let me just clear that real quick before I return to lane. So then you have the issue of, yeah, like, it's a better pink position than here, but suddenly it's not such a safe pink that it's, you know, potentially just going to be a waste of gold again. Uh, I think we need to do go force this game. The team is a little bit tanky. But uh, it's going to be rough <laughs> trying to kite Darius with no ghost and no gill force. I mean, he's, he's fucking doing terrible anyway, so it doesn't really matter what we build here. Anything will be decent, but I think both Darius and Trundle are uh, not so easy to kite generally if you don't have gill force or ghost. This Victor said XDFF at 15 in champ select, by the way. Flurries. 
Mm. Honestly, I should have just saved that for a finisher. I think, because he's gonna recall now. Which is fine, but... Rather be making somebody useless. That guy was already useless with that HP. Moment anybody touched him, he was gonna die. The killer? Holy shit, I did. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, I was stacking up that headshot before I went for that auto EQ auto combo. That way I do two headshots instead of one, and that was just barely enough damage to kill her, I assume. Oh, good. I'm looking base now. Uh, I think either Infinity Edge or Bloodthirster are both fine here. Especially, I mean, especially because I'm so ahead, Bloodthirster is going to be fine here. But I think in general, like, Darius and Trundle are the sort of champs that are, like, sort of tanky, but not incredibly tanky. So you can get, definitely get away with doing Bloodthirster in most games, so long as you're not, like, really behind. Only if you're really behind would I say Infinity Edge second is obligatory here. Because I am really ahead, though, I'm just going to do Bloodthirster. I'm going to be doing insane damage either way. And with Bloodthirster, I just won't be able to die either. Okay, and they surrender, so it doesn't matter. Let me just catch up the cool quick. No! So close. GG. Yo, what a gamers. We're back for another game of Killing the Diamond. Milenistis heal. All right. All good, all good. I guess we sort of won that trade. Or I did, at least. Could do with basing, though. Mm, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Gonna have to go leash. How do they get around? It's a good question. These words must have been placed late. Anyway. What's up, gamers? Gonna be playing Kaelin, naturally, with Melio. Into Varus and Renata. Look, guys, I finally remembered to switch my rune to Leaf for Work. It's already done 15 healing. What a rune. Popping off. This is going to be good for cutting, though, and definitely really good for sustain later on into the game. Ooh, that was a big hit onto her. I'm gonna try and focus my uh, headshots onto Renata, if I, or, you know, onto any champion if I can, rather than go for the last hit. Cost me the last hit, but I think the damage is worth it in the long run. Hmm, do I level E or Q here? I level E. Hmm. Starting to run low on HP. Wait, hold up. Didn't I just see... Varus using a potion, but he still got one potion. Maybe it was Renata. Oh no, it was gonna be... It was a cookie. Okay. Uh-oh. Man. That's rough. Nice one. Crime is common. Logic is rare. Damn it. Damn it, I have a headshot. If I could have hit Varus, that would have been huge. Doing the headshot on the Melio passive. Oh well. If only he just saved it. For a little bit later when I could actually hit someone. 
Damn it. There's no way to know if your support is going to prep your minion or not. Is this Ferris? This Ferris. Can't fucking see in the brush, man. Can only see some vague shape. I feel like the, uh, like clarity in brushes is just really low for some reason. <clears throat> I need to work on that. Nice one. That doesn't kill him, does it? No. <laughs> but it was pretty close, actually. Goddamn. Alright, just like that, we've surely forced him to base, right? And look at the massive wave he would miss out on if he bases. But if he doesn't base, he literally could so easily die. He doesn't have heal, by the way. Got him. That is so huge. Do I want to keep pushing? Sure. We ignore Renata. We just want to clear the wave. Alright, perfect. Just like that, we got our lead back. Melia can help him do Drake. I just need the base. In fact, this is a little bit risky unless they know that Silas isn't bot side. Because I definitely cannot contest this. Ooh, does she have vision or what? Anyway, all good. Um, this will do Noom Cover on this. I was considering doing... I wanted to do Coal early, because we could do with some sustain against the Varus, and the Coal sustain early on is kind of underrated, but... I suppose doing Noom Cover and Refillable is fine as well, and maybe I'll do a little bit of a late Coal later on. We'll see. I mean, Berserkers would also be nice just to dodge more Varus skill shots, which is a sort of sustain, I guess. Alright, not bad. Some free farm before Viego there at least. Oh, my bad. Didn't need to miss that last hit. I can't do anything to defend this though, sadly. If I walk up to hit them and force them off the plating, what's gonna happen is I just eat a bunch of Renata abilities and a bunch of Varus abilities, and I lose like half my HP just to not even really force them off the turret, so... We just gotta acknowledge it's a shitty situation. They got two platings, suboptimal, but it, it is what it is, it happens. And we make sure we don't make any stupid mistakes trying to prevent, prevent the unpreventable. Oh, I wanted to hit Varus. Oh well. Ah, close. Okay, I said we shove out a wave here, and then actually we could just ward immediately, right? And hopefully I don't die to Salas here. Okay, cool. Does Melee have wards? No. So if we shove in here, we're not going to be able to place deeper wards. So there's not much point in shoving in, I don't think, because we're still not really safe from Salas. We could also get roamed on by Pantheon. I think Varus is recalled, though. Maybe we could try and get Renata. Okay. Uh, I don't know where Pantheon is. I'm gonna assume that he's roaming bot, because if I don't assume that and he is roaming bot, then I die. But it looks like he was topside. Nope. Salus is back. Okay, nice one. We're gonna Mitron dive, but there is still Panther to worry about. This is a bad trade for Varus, really bad trade. Ooh, no! Damn, should've been a kill from me, my bad. Oh, I'm so fucked here, though. Okay, I won't bother using cleanse, there's no escape here. It's good that Varus just uh, let himself be killed there for no reason. Okay, I should be able to get. Cool here. It's not really that important, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. This for us is super behind anyway. Also, what is this build? Is he actually is he even going lethality? I don't think he is. Oh. I figured from the fact that he's got Comet that he would be going lethality. Or at least poke Varus. 
That just seems like crit with a suboptimal rune. Well, unhit. See, now I'm a lot stronger, so now I'd be able to zone them off of the red even 1v2. I'll leave the rest of the minions. It's only casters anyway. Oh no. Oh wow, she actually lives? No way. Oh, oh no, they ignite. I'm sorry, Emilio. Dead. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. Well, I don't see Salus anywhere. Place a ward here. Remove their blast gun if they have it. Ooh, I hope that plating stays up. Okay, it does. Perfect. Can get it now then. Hopefully. Oh, man. Trapped. So I should have ulted him. I'll, I'll ult him as soon as I see him. Because Renata will be able to block soon. But she, I know she's around here, so she can't block right now. And we want to make sure that damage goes on to Varus instead of Renata. Doesn't matter if we could use our ultimate to kill him if it's just going to get blocked by Renata anyway. Now this just makes it a lot harder for him to... Or a lot riskier for him to even try and defend here. And get farm. I would say that's the most underrated thing about using kill level properly, is just making sure it lands on a priority target more than anything else. You can see an open window where you can ult the ADC, and the support is nowhere near blocking it or shielding. And that is just the best use for ultimate. You gotta cast it then. Alright, I'll uh, help them do Drakeman base. I don't want to keep pushing. Barely even need to help them with this, though. <laughs> Ooh, actually, but if I stay one more wave, then I got Mythic. I suppose that's worth it. Even with as little mana as I have, I can still shove out a wave. And I'm well ahead, so I don't need to worry about dying. There we go. Now I can base. And this is gonna be a guild force game, since they're not too tanky. It's crazy because these standard killing games should be guild force, but so many games have had to go crack and slur because of the enemy comps. Whereas on my Jinx series, it's the opposite. Ideally, you'd much rather have Kraken Slayer, but I keep having to go fucking Gil Force. <laughs> Damn. Dead. Heal won't save you, little bro. Nice one. Already earned one kill with the Gil Force. As you can see, Kaylin's attack speed is just so damn low. She's just not actually an amazing Gil Force user. Or, sorry, Kraken Slayer user. Does help if you're running Lethal Tempo, but we're not even doing that this game. Ooh, I was one out of killing her. I should have been paying attention to my headshot. Charges. Oh, no. Please, no. Fuck, I don't even get the kill. That's annoying. My bad. Too greedy, I guess. Did not think about the Silas. 
or anything else really. I wasn't looking at the map. Um, what are we going for next? Bloodthirster should be fine against this comp. We'll do this. More damage than just going Vamp Scepter. I don't feel like I need Vamp Scepter at the moment. Like, <laughs> they technically have Poke with the Varus, but this Poke is really not that good. Only problem with this path, though... Actually, maybe I should have gone Vamp Scepter, because the problem with this path is that I can't, uh... Sell my gold yet for BF sword. So if I ever get gold for BF sword, I'm just not gonna be able to buy it unless I sell the long sword, which is fine. But it's gonna be awkward if like soon I base for Vamp Scepter, then I base have to base again before Bloodthirster. And could get BF sword but can't get Bloodthirster. But I can't get fucking BF sword because I don't have the item slots for it. One auto poke. Hello worth. Go mid. We want to pressure there. Ooh, what's going on there? Well, this gives us a window to push here. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by my own cannon. Forgot that worked the minions. Oh, I'm so fucked here, actually. My bad. Didn't think about that. I would have assumed that Pantheon would have used his ultimate for his roam, but clearly not. Alright, thankfully we don't have to be worried about having enough gold for a BF sword. Jesus, the Katarina Whiff Claire is crazy. Uh, she should probably run. Uh, that's fine. Silas isn't following up. Oh, whoops. Yeah, she's about to get flanked by Pantheon. We should try and help. Oh, nope. Pantheon just left without us seeing. Okay. Actually, there's still going to be a fight there, though. Probably. We should expect one to happen. Ooh, the Silas damage. Nice, I stole the kill. Oh man, I don't have go for us, I shouldn't have wasted it. Nice one. <sighs> Can't reach her. Or can I? Maybe Jax can. That's nah, all good. A little Varus, that should help a little bit. Maybe even steal the kill. Awesome. Let me get the wave. Let me let me get the wave. Let me get the wave. Please, man. My coal. I'll just spam ping it so people know. Like the later your call is, the more important it is to have good CS per minute. It's literally no problem to get a delayed call if your CS per minute is fine, but if you have low CS per minute, it's so fucking bad because it's going to take forever to cash out. So I need my team to not be trolling me with taking farm. Oh, hello. Hmm, didn't stun him. Got him. Barely. Holy fuck, that burst. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to be there. Okay. In range of that. Hello? What the fuck? Okay, she's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Damn. Oh, fuck, that hit me. Really? <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh, was that two people that flashed on me? I think so. Could be worse. Okay, thank god. We actually... Get BF Sword Super... Or, well, we get the Blood Thester without having to go for BF Sword, so the... Item slot from the Cull is not a problem. 
Yeah, I was so overextended here, though, by the way, because look at my team. Low HP and low mana, they can't do anything here. Basically, you should ignore the, the presence of these guys and basically 1v3. I shouldn't be position, positioned this aggressively. That is crazy range on that, though. What the fuck was that? I right, can check. Let's go. Who flashed there? Don't have time. I need to leave. Actually, can I click on the map? Oh, I can. Uh, I guess I could have. Didn't need to buy anything anyway. Please, please, please. You could just go top. Man. Yeah, don't go for a uh, eight minute call unless you're playing an ADC with super high wave clear is my recommendation. Killen is a great wave clear, but not good uh, like minion secure from her team, you know? Since her key doesn't one shot waves. Well, it can't be blocked. Well, I actually could have been, but all good. Still hit some. I would have liked the Melio healing thing on me. Not because I wanted to heal, but because it would have been amazing for harassing them there. I think she got that. Ah, uh, Varsa should blow anyway, anyway though, by the way. Who would we rather use? Hold done. Renata wouldn't be able to sustain it. I guess Pantheon might be decent. No, but he would just block it with his thing. I guess Silas is a good compromise. If he doesn't have his support thing shield up. Or not support, jungle item thing. Damn, we should have cleared that. I nearly got BF sword. And I'm literally crashed on my call. If I get this entire wave crashed on my call, please just let me have it. Please just. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. I literally needed those two minions. Whatever. It's not too important, though. Because either way, it wouldn't impact my base. It just would have been nice to get that off of my chest. <laughs> Vigo should get that top lane with. I don't want to not group to get that with. Somebody, probably Katarina, should also be getting bot waves. There's going to be a Drake up soon as well, so whoever farms it needs to do it fast. There we go. Ooh, this would be soul for us if we get it. Mm. Whatever, I mean, he's still a decent target to hold. Ooh, I'm so fucked, actually. Where am I? for work. No, but I got blocked. Holy shit. All good. All good. Nice one. Oh, god damn it. Okay, nice. And that should be a Baron. Fuck Renata. We don't need her. Just do Baron. We don't even need to rush the Drake down because they don't have anybody alive who can actually slow the Drake. This is so good. I mean, we'd, we'd happily pick that trade anyway, Baron for Drake and just delay our soul. But the great thing is, because Renata's the only person alive, like, if it were an ADC, they could just solo the Drake, but if it's just a fucking support like Renata, nothing she can do. We get the Baron and also the Drake now. We can rush over here, their respawn timers don't come up in time. <clears throat> Don't worry, I write the tunnel. What? What did she say? I've got all shot disabled. I always recommend disabling all chat, by the way. It's just an unnecessary distraction. 
whether it's your teammates flaming or the enemies flaming. Doesn't help you win the game. Unless you're gonna be tilting the enemies, which to be fair, it does help. It's an asshole move, I don't do it. But if you wanna like flame the enemies, it actually does make them play for us. <laughs> I need to get out. Okay. Uh, I don't have the base yet, though. Oh boy. This time, this Panther is so dead. Nice one. Won't bother chasing Kyrus, so just jump a wall. We'll help out here instead. Nice one. God damn, Katarina. This game is fucking over now. And it all started with my completely intentional bait. Damn it, we don't have enough minions here. This is fine. Uh, our mid, somebody's pressing mid, somebody's pressing top. We can just stay bot, stay bot, stay bot. Don't leave. They're gonna have to respond to the people on other lanes, and that gives us a window to keep pushing here. Yeah, look, they, we already see two mid. Nobody can stop us here. Easy. If we'd stayed from the start to try and take that inhib against five, then yeah, probably I'm gonna die. But we can just wait for them to have to respond to these. And it's just a free inhib. Alright, we can do... Zeal. Or Far Cannon. They don't have any... Or a significant armor. I'll go do red buff. And the raptors, why not? Won't bother sticking around for the whole camp, I don't think. Unless I just kill it that fast. Yep, that's fine. One can leave, I don't care. I love that change they made so you don't have to take the full camp for it to reset. I didn't need to bother with the Q. Holy fuck, my shielding though. Look at this. I'm st I literally only just lost HP. Also, Vite? Why did they go steal that man? Asshole. He didn't use his ult for it, did he? No, I don't think so. That's fine then. Okay. He's just dead. <laughs> Ooh. Place a trap under him. Q. Oh, I missed on the Q. All good. Still basically just a one shot every time. Zonya is like, it's so, it's just so unreal just how hard Caitlyn counters Zonya's. You cannot survive using Zonya's against Caitlyn. And her placing the trap under you. It's just so fucking dumb. Ooh, almost got run out of there. Alright, GG. Yo, what a gamers. We are back for another game of Caitlyn ADC. Two diamond. This game we're going to be playing Caitlyn Lulu against Vagar Swain. Managed to notice that and switch my runes to Amar. Unfortunately, that's going to be rough playing against 280 assassins with no armor, but it is what it is. I love a good chase. Brilliant. Oh, goddammit, that was meant to be a headshot for Vagar. Oh well. Ooh, that fleet forward can actually 
Got me to land one extra auto on Vega, which was pretty impactful. If I land one auto on the Q, he's dead. Boom. No heal. I'm not sure if heal would have even saved them. He does a lot of damage. Ooh, can I place a trap behind him real fast here? Fuck, I got minion blocked or I would have done it. Oh well. Ooh, it got it uh, hit a minion before it hit Swain. Okay, all good. He still dies. Holy shit, what a start. Ooh, hello. All good. We can fight here. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> what is going on in this game, man? Uh, should I shove this in? Yeah, sure we can. Oh, it's gonna take forever though. But it's just Wayne who can try and punish us. Nobody else. I'm tempted to level Q again for more wave clear, but I think it would be too risky overall. When I get back into lane to not have E. Alright, there we go. Wave crashes. Now let's base. We'll play it to you too, Lulu. Yeah, I'll wait for refillable, why not? There we go. Yeah, so one important thing to note, if you're playing Vagar bot, which is fucking busted, by the way. Super amazing pick. Really terrible level one. That was, they were trying to trade back there, trying to trade evenly, way too much, when they should have just been avoiding damage as much as possible. What Vigor wants to do is just try and poke me from even outside of my own auto-attack range with his Q, if anything, or even just going for lost hits with his Q. He doesn't want to be actively trading. The fact that they were trying to win trades is the problem. They don't win trades. They don't. No matter how well they play it, they just don't win those trades. Now they've hard thrown their lane, there's like no way to come back from this. And again, like him eating that damage? For what? For what? What was the point of that? He needs to be kiting me. Never let me be in his in auto attack range of him. Ah, fuck. Uh, it's all good. We still get him. One more auto? Got him. Holy fuck. But you see what I mean? Like, this is completely unavoidable. They don't need to be trading here. Oh, is it, wait, did I say unavoidable? I meant I meant avoidable. I don't know what I said. I meant avoidable, though. <laughs> like, obviously, it's going to be, like, less and less avoidable the further they fall behind, but they're playing it so bad. Like, Sway, like Swain, I kind of get it, because Swain actually does have a decent early laning. So on his behalf, it's like, yeah, I'd like to play aggressively. I'd like to use some ease and with some little tradies here and there. But because he's got Vagar, he shouldn't. And Vagar definitely should not be trying to follow up anything or even engage in anything by himself. And if Vagar sees me walking towards him, the response is to run before I even get an auto attack range. Nothing else. Um, I'll go for a Berserkers. Gonna make it easier to get in range of, right, of Vagar and chase him down. No matter the situation, a good investigator always remains calm. I shouldn't get to land a headshot on him there. We know they got no cage, so... Just try to punish as hard as we can once the cage is gone. And obviously I'm like, really overextended this, like this, right? But because I'm so ahead, I can just get away with that. I can zone Vega really hard now because he wasn't respecting me before. Now the respect he has to pay me is so much bigger than the respect he would have had to pay me before, which he refused to do. Call 
you know, like, how do you play this? At this point, I'm just going to start the uh, shoving him into the turret as well, because now he might look to base because he's low. And if he stays, we can, we're can we really good at pressuring him into the turret as Caitlyn. This is actually kind of a brutal combo now that I think about it, though. The Swain Vagar with the Swain E just pulling people into the Vagar cage. If I wasn't so damn ahead, I would have to pay more respect to that. Oh my lord. We'd rather go for the headshot on Vagar there, even if he's a bit further back, because he's more likely to eventually die from it than Swain is. He's dead. Oop. Okay, maybe not quite dead. We'll see. Oh no. I misclick. Okay, we get him. Ooh, I'm fucked there, unfortunately. Okay. Shot down to who? Shot down to Talon. Not ideal, but I suppose it's better than Vagar, who skills better. Not bad. No, we, we don't have to flame Ramus there. Um, Definitely not going to go for Cole again. Last game was painful. I'm only gonna do it if I can do it before five minutes. They cannot run from the long arm of the law, nor from the scope of my rifle. Just gonna ult him while I can. When I know it's not gonna get blocked by Swain. And plus the earlier you do it do it into laning, by the way. The more chances your ultimate comes up for a kill again, than if you do it for harass later on. Anyway, this is uh, probably going to be a guild for us game, despite them having one tank. Okay, I'm going to shove them under turret again. Sorry, Ramus. But we do want to play some vision, though. That is true. They have a pink here. If uh, Talon tries to stop us from placing vision, then that's good because we've got Ramus around. So place a ward here. Oh, Lulu. Okay, we found Talon. Ooh. Ah, but I'm burst down anyway, aren't I? No, okay, I'm gonna live. Barely. Jesus. Close one. Oh no. That's not good, though. They got ulted, right? Okay, I'm gonna be healing slowly. That's a shame, though. Where did he even come from? I never even saw Talon. But he came from behind. I'm just blind, I think. Doesn't matter who this hits, either way, it's a valuable hit since they're both low. Neither of them can afford to be taking much damage right now. Whereas if I try and use it as a finisher only, I mean, I might die before we get into a good fight, right? Or before we get a chance to kill them. Whereas me giving them low just reduces the chances that they would be able to win a fight and kill me. Got so much AoE stuff to touch there, man. Ow, I shouldn't be getting hit by that. Ooh, so close. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> okay, we're getting ganked by Talon again, though. Oh, this is so bad, actually. Yeah, like, I w I, if I wasn't under turret, I could have set up a trap uh, fortress that would have protected me from Talon. But it, I can't, like, set it up because I'm under turret, and so I have to leave the turret range instead of placing traps. So that was a bit awkward. Oh, well. Mm. A little bit risky, but I think I'm just going to go for Bloodthirster second instead of Infinity Edge. Their, tal their Sion isn't too tanky for the moment, at least. Plus, like, he's the o their only tank as well. And if I can build Vamp Scepter in lane, that would be really good, because if I can just keep sustaining from every trade, then I'm always going to be full HP and it's going to be hard to kill me, even with Talon ganks. No, that crit screwed me. Oh well, who's here? Not Vega, as far as I can see. Oh, 
Holy fuck, we have Ardent Sensor in already. We'll lose a head as well, not just me. Really easy to have to go for once he's wasted. He needed to save that for defensive purposes, which I mean, I still have cleanse, so he's dead either way. But at the very least, it would force my cleanse, so we can't do that next time. Because I can't still do that next time. Definitely needed to also respect me, like moving in for the dive instead of just staying on the turret. He needed to, needed to run away. Which, I would, again, I would probably still kill him because I got a kill for us, right? But at least maximize his chances and draw some cooldowns. Is nothing to kill him there. Just ult. Just take away golems from Talon. And even scout the red buff. Go on, tell him. No, I need vision. Oh, I don't have ult. I'm trolling. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Whoops. That was a bad flash. I thought I had ult. Oh, no. Did he even get the red? He did. Okay, mid lane turret is already down. I guess we're gonna have to try and cut off Talon. Eventually, I have ult anyway. Pretty soon. No, oh, now it's gonna go to Remus. Unless... Damn it, it goes to Ziggs, but that's such a bad person to have a red buff on. Uh, I could rotate top. Tarek has to recall here anyway, so Lulu. Let's go top. Lulu, Lulu. I'll start off the gank without her though. Wait, fucking hell. But Lulu, she should already be here. Ah, oh, fuck. Right as a UZ. That's so bad. If that Q hits him, he should be dead, though. Yep, perfect. <laughs> careful. Careful, Tarek. Okay. He should be recalling, though. Just go bot, because we can take this turret a lot more easily than they can push our bot. Hopefully Sound doesn't have TP. We want to use all of our auto attacks on the turret. We can just kill the minions almost entirely with Q. Alright, yep. Just free turret. Awesome swap. That's not good though. Actually, I probably could have pushed another wave. Oh well. Um, yeah, we'll just finish the Bloodthirster. I'm gonna move over here now. He should run to me. Just run to me. Maybe I get here in time to save him. Or at least clean up. But he's not running to me, so like he could have at least dragged talent to me, man. Oh, yep, dragged into the Vagar cage. It finally worked. They finally did it. <laughs> Got him. Nice one. Just needed the headshot and uh, go for us. Right, so they, I think the Bloodthirst is really good here because I'm a bit of a problem right now. They need to kill me if they want to win this game. So the harder I am to kill, the bigger the problem for them. Ideally, I would like Lulu to stick around with me, because in theory they could try and cheese me right now. I know it's less likely because of Vagar based, but we don't know where Talon... Well, we know Talon is dead, but we don't know where Swain is, we don't know where Zed is. A good support would have left out pink for me to lost it. We can hold Zed. Also take this Raptor Camp away from Talon. Should 
should have hit that. I'm on the way. Ooh, wow. Wait, he can jump over that wall? That's crazy. Ooh, look at this. Ramos moves. Nice one. Oh, I should be hoping here too. Damn it. Oh well. Okay, I can base and get <coughs> the episode and... Oh, wait. Oh, did I did... That shouldn't have cancelled my recall, right? I probably was still recalling. Oh. Nice one. Hmm. Maybe try and use go first to kill him, but I don't think it's worth it. Shouldn't have been hit by that. And I would like the base now. Ooh, so close to dying there. Maybe I should have stuck around since I heard this iron ult, but I really just want to spend my gold and get my mana back. There we go. Alright, I have ult. Damn. Yeah, that, uh, that was very unlikely to kill him unless I had ult. My bad. Close one. No, he knocked him out of my trap. All right, doesn't matter. He didn't go into stealth anyway. If he'd ulted, then my trap would have revealed him. If the trap had actually hit him. Like I'm pretty sure at this point I can just one v one Zed. That's how crazy this build is. I'm too tanky for him to kill. Wow, he almost broke my shield. Well, he did break my shield. He almost did damage to my HP bar. Ah, I missed the Q. Fuck, the Vagar could actually do some damage though. <laughs> Especially with the help of his team. Just gonna go for the carries. Ah, no, it's not. Ah, fuck. No, I didn't need to flash. I panicked, but... Damn it, the fucking sound body blocking the talon ult. Oh, well. He was so dead. That hit. Ah, I, di I didn't need to be so impatient, though. I could have just taken care of the sound ult, then blue trinketed it to find talon, and then ulted him. That was probably played for me. Like, I don't think I even completely forgot about the sound corpse. I was just, like... Desperately trying to hold Talon before this. Like, and hoping the sound wouldn't block the shot. But if I'd really put some thought into it, the sound crops was not an issue.
I could just walk into it and cleanse it and kill him, but it's not even worth the cleanse cooldown. I would rather use my cleanse to win a fight rather than just get one random kill. I say the same thing about Flash all the time as well. But in this case, it's true about cleanse too. Jesus. This is not an enjoyable game for Zed. I can do it basing again. I'm sitting on a ridiculous amount of gold. We can do Baron soon. They should base. Okay, I'm gonna stick around while they're trapped by the Breaker Cage. Oh my lord. There we go. Ooh, Sun can block it. Nice one. Damn it, I didn't need to get hit by that. Damn it! <laughs> nice. I'm lucky for him, my range is so high that I don't even have to walk forwards to hit him there. Uh, I suppose I can just take this. He has to use his W. Mm, nah, he actually gets away. Yeah. ADC is just super strong right now because of Bloodthirster. There's just nothing they can do about this. I'm just far too tanky. GG. Yo, what up gamers? I just wanted to announce that we're gonna put the Caitlyn series on hold for a little bit because currently her pick rate and ban rate are just really, really high and it's actually making it really hard to record these videos for her. This video took two days already to make. Yesterday I had to dodge three times and I got a 12 hour lockout. Today I dodged twice, then AFK to remake a game, then had to dodge a third one for another 12 hour lockout just to get a three hour video when I was really aiming for more of a four hour video. It's just really hard, so we're going to be waiting until her ban rate and pick rate drop a little bit before we continue this series in particular. Because it's just ridiculous. Like, it's so much easier to make these episodes for other ADCs. Uh, for the rest of this video, though, I'll just put in two games from my Iron to Master series on Caitlyn in case you want more Caitlyn content. It's going to be from older patches, but hopefully you still find it helpful. Still going to be educationally focused. So hope you guys enjoy that. Yo, what up gamers, we're Paradox here. Welcome to my Iron to Master series, where today we're going to be playing Caitlyn ADC. For runes, we're going to be running Fleet Footwork with Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Celerity, and Gathering Storm. Most Caitlyn players favor Presence of Mind, and honestly, so do I. I took Triumph by mistake, but as far as mistakes go, it's a pretty minor one, since this rune is still viable on Caitlyn. It's going to be better, like, uh... You know, in the heat of combat, staying alive, fairly self-explanatory, but... <coughs> Whereas Presence of Mind is just better, generally, like, for the laning phase, and if you're not taking damage, since Skillin is fairly reliant on our abilities, what is, what is going on here? Just start your blue, buddy. They're not gonna hurt you. Alright, that's all the leash I can give since we were a bit delayed in starting that. What the hell were they doing? Anyway, for this game... Hang on. You can keep me again, but Varus is not in position right now. That's fine. Yeah, so for this game I'm going to be trying out the slightly different build. Uh, I've noticed that, well, I've noticed for a while that some Caitlyn players like to use Bork on her. And it seems to have an okay win rate. I don't think I've tried it so far myself. But we're going to be trying it out this game. I suppose we can just go with the Bork Rush. Although they also like to do it second. I think second is more popular. And we'll level E here. Nice one. There is no way for a moment to hit another Q here in the middle of the wave, so he has to run. Okay. Oh, that was some fight over there. <laughs> yeah, Ping us as if we could help there. <laughs> Let me just walk through a Mumu. 
This man's gonna go for or is King gonna go for this? Damn. The minion was just barely in the way of my EQ combo. No, Kane isn't gonna go for me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just start off testing the Bork Rush, which I feel will give her a better give us a better idea of how uh Bork is on Caitlyn. Because it won't get carried so much by like a first item crit, which we know works fine. And that's why we're going Legend Alacrity, since we're going to be getting Lifesteal, either first or second item. If you're doing... It, like, it doesn't matter whether it's first or second, either way. If you're getting Lifesteal that early on, then I would just advise to go Legend Alacrity, so you can have a bit of a better early game, while still getting some sustain for the mid-game. You'll miss out on a little bit of sustain in the early game, where you're not getting that like 1-3% to Lifesteal from Bloodline, but it's not a huge deal. And you will at least have Doran's Blade. That was pretty crucial. Q to land on Varus. We're gonna need it if we're gonna have any chance of getting back into this lane. Ooh, I don't quite have the mana for a Q there. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that was close. If I had presence of mind, I would have had a better trade on to Varus there. So in theory, like, oh, not a perfect trap, but that's fine. It gets the job done. I'll take that trade. He's got no mana, by the way. I'm just thinking, like, how much mana do I need? I, like, ideally, to beat him in a fight, I'll need both my E and my Q. Either that or I flash my Q into him. Or I just Q him like this. No, I gotta disengage, though. If he gets mana for one ability, I'm dead. I could do a really sick combo on him though, watch this. Watch, watch, watch. An enemy has been slain. Ah, I was hoping to get in range for the auto without having to flash for it, because then he would not react to the E. If I do flash auto E, it's only going to work if he doesn't have flash. I'm too late with the chap, aren't I? Yeah. Hopefully we can still get something here though. i got to be a little bit careful. Okay, trap behind him. There we go. He has to walk into it or step around it. Either way, it's a big delay to him getting to his turret. He probably should have stepped around it, because at least that's still a little bit better, but I think he was going to be dead either way. Nice gank from Rama, since we weren't getting a kill there otherwise. Okay, we can go ahead and base here. Oh. Right after we dodge this king gank. I can't do anything. Uh, I'll place a trap there. <laughs> no point placing one here because they have vision in that brush anyway. Yep. Unlucky Caitlyn. I feel like this is a pretty decent start actually. Getting the vamp scepter for sustain. With the berserkers to kite the Omumu. <laughs> but like Bork is not going to be as big a power spike on Kaelin as it is on other ADCs. So I'm not going to like straight up rush it when Berserkers is so good on her. But it is still a pretty decent one. Probably a bigger power spike than Kraken Slayer. Just for, mostly because of the sustain. Well, we can already start off with the sustain here. So while Caitlyn probably, like, her damage probably doesn't really benefit as much from uh, Bork as, uh, as other ADCs do, like, compared to just building crit. Ooh. I don't currently have cleanse. Oh, come on. He might be dead to minions? Oh, just barely not. Jesus. Oof. I don't know if I noticed that Varus was 6 in time there. 
Thankfully, we at least survive. Okay, this is the third time I'm going to be trying to make this point. Let's hope that nothing happens this time. So, although her damage doesn't necessarily scale as well with Bork as it does with crit relative to other ADCs who might build Bork. Got him, let's go. Okay, fourth time trying to make this point. Although her damage doesn't scale as well with Bork as it does with crit relative to other ADCs, one thing that Kaelin does have going for her is she has like ridiculously high range, as we all know. Uh, which means she can have an easy time, especially since we got this fleet footwork. Just sneak in three autos, which is going to get you that uh, <coughs> the Bork passive. the uh, What used to be the active, right? The slow, which also gets you movement speed to just chase people down with. Uh, you're going to have an easy time proccing that. And that's going to... It's not going to increase your damage more than crit would, but it is going to enable it better. Okay, we can back off now. I've got my pickaxe. I'm just going to hope they don't freeze. I'm not going to interrupt my base here. She just needs to run. Nice. So it would have been a waste of time for me to cancel my base there. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, she almost walked back into that. Damn it, didn't hit that. Okay. Got the drop on the Mumu though. Nice one. Burst might have ult back up. We've wasted a lot of Kane's time though. He's been like sticking around to Botlin for like a minute straight just for his laner to die. Oh. Nice. Kane is probably still around. So yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, like I can overextend, sure. But by Lux. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Fine, we'll just go on Kane while Varus is not in range. Damn it. Alright. I will just start shoving, try and make Varus miss some farm if he actually bases. Should be able to get one plating here. Maybe even a kill on a Momo. Yeah, he's dead here. Should not have done that. We can stick around for one more wave then, since we know that we're not going to be pressured by Varus and a Momo. It's just going to be Varus himself, which means it's just going to be an easy shove here. And a little bit of poke on him there. Shima don't have more mana. Like, you know, if I'd gone presence of mind, perhaps, because I could just throw my ultimate on him right now, just to harass him a little bit before I leave towards base. That way, when I get back into lane, he's going to be a little bit lower HP. And my ultimate is going to be well on his way to coming off cooldown again. But we can't do that, and it's not worth sticking around for. So, um, Now grab the Bork. Perfect. Actually, just the perfect amount of gold. I didn't even notice that. Should have been watching out for that. I need Lux to not touch this wave. And because it's low elo, like in high elo, I would not even have to ping this. But in, lo in low elo, I honestly should have even pinged it like sooner. Because it's, it is a big pattern that I've noticed is that supports when you're not in lane will just hit the wave and use their abilities on it to clear it. You gotta try and stop that. Pings can only do so much, but it does do something. Maybe you can prevent it. So we're just going to keep the wave here. Here seems good. Actually, I probably should have saved that. He's, uh... Oh. Okay, nice. We forced the flash there. <laughs> yeah, actually. Like, I don't mind using ultimate to harass when they're high HP. But when they're low, really, you could just save it for getting a kill. There we go, the Bork. Okay. My god, his damage. I'm just dead here. Oh, he had vision of me as well. Okay, my bad. How is he Shadow Assassin already? Jesus. That was unexpected. 
Man, if I'd placed that job better though, I would have been fine. Okay, nice. That's one dead shadow assassin as well. Feel a little bit better now. That have been avenged. Okay, this wave state is good. It's gonna be pushing toward. No, no, no. Lux, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Yep. It's in a good wave state. She's not ruined it. Nice, and she's basing. Not even touching the wave at all. Good. Because if she tried to lost hit here, she could easily ruin the wave without meaning to. See, what Amun was doing here is completely troll. Because he's accelerating the rate at which these minions die. And decelerating, decelerating the rate at which these minions die. So I'm going to arrive to this cannon when this cannon should have been dead. And Varus is going to arrive to like three less minions than he could have had. Like in, in your head, if you're a support man, you might think, Oh, but Varus isn't in lane anyway. Like what's the harm in a move with taking farm? If he wants to last hit, fine. But he wasn't last hitting. He was like pushing the wave. He was pushing so he could get more last hits than what was otherwise going to die by itself. And that's really bad. Like, even in gold and plat, supports like, make the mistake. They get greedy trying to accelerate the rate at which the minions die, so they can get more farm when the ADC isn't in lane. You should not be acceler accelerating. Like, you should not be changing anything at all about the wave state in that situation. You can last hit, but it has to be when the minion is, like, 8 HP already. You can't be last hitting when they're, like, 50 HP, or you're going to be messing with the wave state. Either, like, ruining a freeze, or lessening the effectiveness of a freeze... Or creating a freeze for them when the wave state was otherwise neutral. Just don't get greedy. Alright, this time he's full HP, so I'm just going to go ahead and exactly. harass him. <coughs> Can we just get our ultimate on cooldown? Hopefully. We got the Bork, so able to chase down the Mumu a little bit here. A little bit less than if I didn't get Glacial there. Ooh. Oh, I almost got the Varus with the Q as well. It was actually, I was just, you could just see it happening where my Q happens to get the loss on both of them. That would have been sick. What is he sticking around for? He's he's taking two turret shots for one caster minion, man. You really did not want me to have that caster minion. Okay. Now we can base for the new cover. Just gonna go for Kraken Slayer a second here. It, I mean, this was most popular when people do the Bork Kalen build, but really, I don't see any reason why you can't go Guild Force. In fact, I would say Guild Force is probably better here. But you know, this is the the build that other players use that we're gonna be testing here, so. Just go group mid now. Vigor's gonna have to base soon anyway, so there's just free farm for me here. Okay, Lux just taking the wave. Ow. I'm gonna go for the red buff actually. Now, ideally, Vagar should go bot, so I can just stay mid and pressure there. Yeah, top lane turret is already down. Nothing to get there. So we wanna stay group mid. And Vagar really needs to go bot, like, now. If he's, like, tries to go mid first, then I'm gonna have to go bot to deal with that wave. How is he taking so long, though? Like, I may have to go here anyway. This is a cannon wave that we're leaving to die here. Yeah, never mind, Vagar. Just go mid. Pick up the mid wave. Okay, I got XP from the melee. I'm just gonna queue to make sure I get that. There we go. Hey, what's going on here? Wait, I couldn't kill him with ult. Ah, if only I had got vision sooner. Oh well. Or just mainly ulted before he went out of vision. Would have been great there. <coughs> Cost me some mana, but at least I do get to keep the ultimate. Ooh, perfect timing on the sunny fruit to get some mana back. So after the strike, the wave bot is still being pushed. Nobody's caught that, so we can just go mid. 
Oh my lord. Oh wow! That burst. What was that? Alright, my bad. Should have taken a more defensive approach there. We did get the Drake, right? Yeah, we did. Damn. Yeah, I was gonna say, after the Drake, we can just go group mid, but, uh... Definitely somebody has to go bot now. Ooh. Oh, that's Kin with the Herald. I don't think it matters too much right now whether it's me or Vagar that goes bot. I gotta be cautious about the fact that, yeah, Kane is here. Oh, I didn't mean to get rooted here. That's fine, I live. There we go, we got that. Nice, got the cannon. <laughs> the expense of getting hit by Kane W, but I would say that's worth. Okay. Um, I guess we have a pretty big numbers advantage here, so we'll stay grouped here. Instead of rotating towards mid. I do stick around for this farm though. I would be troll not to. Now we can rotate over here. See so if there's anything we can do. I don't think so. Okay, there is going to be a fight. can't reach him, he's just dashing all over the place. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god, I think he could have killed me. I don't think he should have gone back into the brush. He has Bork as well, so if he had his slow ready, probably could have been a kill on me. Honestly, I don't mind him doing that. Small raptors were annoying. Oh, him trying to steal that was not okay though. <laughs> I still still got it. Okay, this is probably the hardest game that I've played so far in this series. In fact, for that reason, I'm, I'm gonna go Gil for us since I think it's better, especially into this comp. Hmm, actually. I don't know, the damage could also be pretty useful if I just have good positioning. I'll stick with the Kraken Slayer. Maybe I'll just be able to randomly melt the cane in one fight where he doesn't focus me. I got the Bork to try and stick onto him as well. Hmm. Team should not be fighting there. There's zero chance to get there in time to influence the fight, so we're gonna ignore it. Stick to our farm. They could do Baron here, if they're smart. Gonna play some traps here in case they try and flank there. Third item here is gonna be Phantom Dancer, since it's the item that has the best energy with my build so far. They might be on Baron, I'm not sure. If they are, there's not much I can do. I don't want to bother getting in a position where I can die just to try and go for a Miracle Q steal with no vision. I'll go bot since Vagar's taking the mid farm. I'm gonna try and... I stress this in every video, but you want to try and avoid sharing farm with anybody on your team as much as possible. That way you maximize your own farm, and you maximize that laner's farm, but mostly you maximize your own farm. You don't really care about your laners. <laughs> we're so far away from where we saw everybody else the last time they were seen on the map that I, I'm feeling somewhat confident that I can just go for another wave here. Right before the Drake as well, so my team should be coming bot side, at least. There we go. Um, they're not really though. We pr we have to leave this Drake as well because my team is just completely out of position. Ramus had the right idea being in the river, but because he was alone in the river, it was a bad call. Like my team should not have been top lane there. 
Okay, we'll just base now. We can grab Zeal. <coughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah, if there was ever a time to test this build, it should be now when you still can't do Infinity Edge second. It's going to be great for Caitlyn when that change goes through the next patch. I don't see any need to go Bork once that happens. I feel afraid to go for this turret, but it might be the right call. I'm gonna do it. As long as I see Kane. Mm, ah, never mind. Swain plus a Mumu could be enough to kill me. That's a TP. Nice one. Play some traps here. There we go. Just gonna steal this again. <laughs> or try to. We'll try and go for Grump. We really need to shut down on the king. Can he stop trying to take everything that I want to take? Jesus, like, what is his problem? We'll go for raptors here, since this fight is getting pushed. Or we can just try and join in, see if we can maybe get a shutdown on the king here. Ah, just can't finish him. I don't need to cleanse her, I don't think. Hopefully I don't regret that. Damn it, I missed that. We can cleanse that though. There we go. There we go. Thousand gold shutdown. Ah, I just barely got hit by his W. Ah, that sucks. I would have killed Varus. I would have eventually died to Rengar, but that would have been so much better if I didn't get hit by the dead Kane's W. Oh well. Okay. Probably gonna be going for pickaxe here. I don't find it worth selling the one's blade just to grab the BF sword over the pickaxe. Although we will eventually sell the like if next time we base we can sell Dorn's blade for BF sword, then that's worth it because we have no alternative to buy. Here pickaxe is good enough. We should just push mid. Nobody can get the Varus in time. Kill him. Except maybe Remus. Honestly though, I guess they can. I'd rather we just full group mid even if it feels a bit overkill. Oh god. Okay, we got him. No, we didn't. What? Nah, you're kidding me. How did he not get rooted by that trap in time? I got Kane. I'm dead again though. Unless... Oh, you're kidding me. That hit me. What? That felt like a billion range. Come on, Lux. Okay, nice. Ramos did kill Varus. Perfect. I think that hit him, right? No, it just faded. not gonna sell Doran's Blade for Kirkcloak. I don't feel like that's a worthy trade. This Doran's Blade can be pretty crucial for just surviving the Rengar and the Kane. I'll go for Red Buff. Either either that or if they shove this in fast enough, I'll get the mid-wave and then Red Buff. There's a Drake coming up. We really need to contest this one. What? Why is he trolling me? Everything else I kind of understand. If he if he like needed gold for something, but 
He's just trying to take everything from me for no reason. Thank God he keeps missing. Oh lord, he's got Edge of Night now. Ah, oh, just wasted all my traps and he's not even coming in. Oh, ow, my bad. Is life still here a bit? Oh my lord. Oh, you're kidding me, I didn't see Varus. <laughs> Wow, that was three very fast kills. What the fuck? We'll try and keep chasing. Well, I need to stay away from Kane. We go, Varus. Huge. Okay, so I didn't want to just immediately turn to the Drake there because Kane still had a chance to steal it. Okay, my team can do that. We're gonna push mid. Yeah, sure, Vega, take the farm, whatever. I'll go for this one. Then we want to go for Baron. I think I can start this. Should be able to heal up for a little bit at least. Rama should be here pretty fast with his Q. Don't know what my team did there, but it was really good. They just fucking melted three of their team. Well, I killed the Swain. I guess they killed the other two. Huge, huge, huge. See, now I've got Infinity Edge without even having to sell Doran's Blade. I don't know if I want to sell it for Quick Cloak though. I suppose this should be worth it now, because now that I've got Infinity Edge, Crit is just so much more worthwhile. And I guess I'll be doing Bloodthirster, final item. They cannot run from the long arm of the Lord. Just because I really need to get Tanky here, and I don't particularly need Armor Pen. It would help me kill Amumu just a little bit faster, but he's just a support tank anyway. He's on support income, so he's not that tanky. Going on here. <laughs> hmm. You're kidding me. Oh my god, that Vigar just saved me so hard. Okay, nice. I'll go try and life still up here. Awesome. Alright, let's push mid. Or, yeah, bot, I guess. Is there anybody pushing mid? No, no, we want to go bot, I think. That that mid lane wave is going to take far too long to push. No stone left <laughs> I'm going bot. I'm just trying to trap all around. Ow. There we go. It's, it would be much better if Sun would just stick around the trap so that King gets trapped no matter where he goes. But it's all good. I got him anyway. Didn't even need the bark slow for that. Okay, Rengar's gonna be ulting me. We just walk to the traps. There we go. Just barely saves me. There's two people alive and three people dead. Let's see if I can life still fast enough to get into another fight. Oh, okay, I don't need to ult him. Oh, I can ult him though. What the hell? Did he just lose all that? Oh my god, he lost all that HP to three cannons. Jesus. Wait, I'm gonna stick around here. Buffing up all these minions and just pushing the Nexus. There we go. He missed. He needed to hit that. Oh, no he doesn't. <laughs> what the hell? Apparently not. My bad. Jesus. I basically died to an auto attack and a Q. And the Prowlers, but Prowlers should not count. My lord. Okay. And that's UG. <laughs> Did the minions this time? No, they surrendered. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that was a hard one, but we got there in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, gamers. Yo, what up, gamers? For Part Arc here. Look at my Intermaster series where today we're going to be starting off with an invade as Caitlyn. 
Well, it's something. God damn it, if only I had lethal tempo, I'd be doing so much damage. That's fine. I'll focus the echo because he doesn't have flash. I uh, can't focus him anymore. <laughs> Getting them probably dead here. Yep. Oh no, we completely lost that. Okay, we got one kill. One kill. Could be worse. Hmm. Well, that blows. Alright, gamers, welcome. Today we're going to be playing Kelton AC and we're going to be trying out the new overheal. Already blocked 3 damage. Pretty cool. We'll be playing with Ash into Jinx, Thrash, so... Our goal here is just going to be to poke them out of the lane and try not to get all in. After a great start, in that regard. Sad I didn't get here in time for the XP, because at least I could have had an XP lead over Jinx, but not even that. She missed the same amount of CS as me, despite being gone like 5 seconds longer. So we're just gonna let them push us in. Eventually they're gonna be... Oh, he's already level 2, what the hell? I might die here... Oh, what the hell? Maybe not then. Maybe he's dead. Huh. Ah, I that was literally gonna get that. Damn it, I was hoping that wouldn't kill me. Yeah, she needs to be careful, Jinx says. Lethal tempo. Okay, nice, not bad. And the wave is pushing towards us, this is actually really good. Damn it, I was... Stop, stop, stop. I was uh, paying attention to my, to my uh, fleet. They get that extra heal, and then I knew it would for sure survive. I was like, ooh, I just needed to order Jinx for the heal, but then the heal also has to travel back to you. So awkward, I was so close to just being able to survive without needing to flash away there. I should have just flashed away though, just to play it safe. Got greedy. I already blocked 4 damage from the overheal. Now you can already see that the shield seems... Well, I don't know if it's really different from previous patches. It's mainly going to be a buff, I think, from uh, level 5 onwards, I think it was. I don't think they actually sped up, like, how fast it stacks either, so... It's mainly just how big the shield gets. It's going to be bigger in the mid-game. I've had two really weird auto-attack cancels. I don't know what that's about. Didn't feel like regular auto-attack cancels. I think I was out of range there, <laughs> otherwise it would have hit me over the cannon. He's probably dead here again. Yeah, what is what are these auto cancels, man? There we go. Awesome. We're back in the lane. Did I maybe forget to run an attack speed shard? Damn it. I was trying to hit the other one. Oh well, I'll space here. No, I got attack speed. I don't know, auto attack cancels feel very unnatural. Weird. Actually, I think I'll go for Berserkers here. There we go. I'm gonna be able to more easily dodge Thresh Hooks. This Thresh is actually not having a good game despite the early start. He's playing awful. God damn. Yeah, in a game like this, we're almost certainly going to be doing Bloodthirster 3rd as well. So it's going to be the return of the overheal Bloodthirster combo for Caitlyn. Should lead to a bigger than ever shield since I believe in the previous patch, Bloodthirster also got, got its shield buffed.
It'd be a good, good gank opportunity for Malkai. What is he waiting for? Is he, what? How is he not ganking Jinx here? What the hell? Okay. I'm gonna drag it out if possible and apparently maybe go help Malkai. Oh, he's so greedy, man. Oh, come on. How? Ah, I'm trolling. Why would she run there, though? Okay, nice. Okay, she's dead. Whoa. That Thresh Lantern. Lantern Jinx, maybe? Ah, damn it. You could tell she was timing that auto for the kill without trying to save me. Oh, well. Not that I was really gonna die, anyway. But she didn't know that. Anyway, glad that worked out. That was such a good move from Makai. What the hell? Who goes for Grump there over just killing Jinx? We know her support abandoned her. Why not just 3v1 her? I am probably gonna die here. Yep, not much to do about that, my bud. Hmm. I'll grab one potion, I guess. I don't feel like it's worth waiting for refillable when uh, we're already starting to miss out on CS as this soon crashes. This has been such a weird game, man. Oh, this guy's playing AP Alistar because of the buff. Laws mean nothing when they fail to protect the public. Probably just gonna have to miss the first one. God damn it, Ash. Yeah, I played that perfectly. I predicted that I wouldn't be able to one shot them, so better go for the one at the back, which I have time to auto twice. Pot on the trail. But then Ash autos it. <laughs> Oh god, the plating is so close to being down. This is a little bit greedy, or um, risky at least. Because we don't have vision in the back yet. Okay, we see Thresh top lane. I'll save my ult to maybe kill Jinx if we're lucky. Need to pressure her here. Ash, we need to pressure her here. What is she going to do? Oh. How did that not hit Echo? I swear he would just walked into it. Gotta be careful not to step past that. I could ult right now, but Echo will block it. We need to force Echo's ult or wait for him to walk really far. God damn it. Okay. No! You're kidding me, man! God damn it, I could have played that better. I should have E'd. Man, that's annoying. I was so close to killing Jinx. I tried to use Q to force the Echo, then I realized, crap, he's literally gonna ult on top of me. <sighs> Damn it. That was quite inconvenient. I guess this time I'll finally get the refillable. I hope Ash's exhaust only just came up. She's probably, yeah, she's definitely too healthy to die to my ultimate now. Even if it did true damage, still wouldn't kill her. Thresh might be cheesing here. I got cleansed though. Oh. Oh man. Can I still maybe get her? If I can hit her with a Q. Ah, so close. So I was just chasing her because it on the surface it doesn't look like I can actually um chase her there. But I do have the Berserker's advantage, which I didn't actually know about. And also, I was just auto-attacking auto the minions every time I had Fleet Footwork up. Just so I get that speed boost. Which uh, went a long way towards help me, helping me catch up to her. 
Without that, I wouldn't have been even in range to try the Q. What a weird game, man. So I should maybe try and help. Definitely, I can't really continue pushing forwards here because I don't have vision. I'll try and flank from here. Come on. Oh my god, I'm so fucked now. Okay. Uh, mm, okay, no, I was gonna say maybe I should have cleansed the slow, but never mind. There was two people behind me. <laughs> We got this right. Nice. What a weird game, man. What are these collapses on every... Like, every two minutes. There's always some weird shit going on. Like, I don't like it, but it, I guess it does, it does make for an entertaining viewing experience. Alright, we're doing Guild Force here? Yeah, for sure. I guess I have a slight lead over Jinx. Oh, well, she did just get a kill, but I assume she's not going to enter lane with as many items as I have. She'll be about uh, 500 gold less. 400, something like that. It's not a huge lead. Now, this is going to help, though. Which I actually need, really need this because she's also a level up on me for whatever reason. Mainly because she keeps going solo, I guess. Bash roams too much. Oh, crap. There's not a minion between me and him to E. Or there is a minion. Okay, he's probably dead here. There we go. I'll just ult her for the kill. Oh my god, she crit me. Dude, if she crit me twice. <laughs> god damn it, that lethal tempo range caught me off guard. Nice one, we got the turret. <coughs> I guess I'll help with the Drake. Nice one. I think I'm just gonna base. I got a lot of gold spent. Can get a BF sword. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Mm, she could have definitely survived there, I think. Try and poke Annie with a headshot here. Perfect. I have some weird... I swear to god, my auto attacks are bugged. I shouldn't have queued there. Damn it. No! I Dude, she actually nearly died. I thought I died before I could even go for us, but that's so unlucky, goddamn. Oh, man. Yeah, queue there was really troll. Like, uh, when, I'm, when you're, like, purely playing defensively, like, just trying to run away... The Q is always greedy to do in the EQ combo, you just want to E. That's a mistake I make constantly on Caitlyn. Thankfully nowadays I realize immediately as I do it, so I'm, I'm getting close to fixing that mistake. It's this Thresh's fault that this game is such a fucking mess, man. He just refuses to sit still and play the lane. Which means we try and punish Jinx 1v2, which means Echo ganks us. Maokai refuses to gank the Jinx 3v1, meaning it and just goes to invade, making it the fiesta in the jungle. But mainly it's down to Thresh. He's probably having fun though, when he's not dead. Damn. 
I got flipped. Ah. Oh. What? These auto cancels, man. I'm telling you, there's something weird this game. Oh, oh wow, this Maka has damage. Never mind. Good thing Mel didn't go off. I swear, every time I do an Iron to Master series, I do have this recurring bug. I don't know why it's always during Iron to Master, but there's always this recurring bug where my autos just cancel for no reason. It's it's unclear. It's unclear now. For now, it could just be like regular auto attack cancels, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like the auto cancels before I actually input a movement command. And I swear, my autos there looked weird as well, even though they didn't cancel. How does this keep happening? Always doing Iron to Master. Like I always think the bug is fixed, but. Is this some, like, s some smurf nerf, or what? <laughs> that rhymes. Let's call it the smurf nerf. I'm just gonna try and pay a lot of attention to my autos and... ...play really safe in terms of, like, trying not to cancel autos. And so if it cancels still, during an auto where I know I played it really safe... Oh. Damn. Oh, no, wait, I, I don't know, I still have her? <gasps> no, that's so... If I'd just done it faster, <laughs> man. Oh, no. But yeah, at least on minions, I'm just gonna keep... ...autoing, and then waiting a little bit before movement, you know? That way, if I ca that way if it cancels, I know it's a bug. For the love of God, he must have help. <laughs> no vision, so I can't hit him. That should really give you vision, right? I can't be the other one that feels that's incredibly awkward. Oh, he left us? Okay, I'll take it. Uh, I can back from Infinity Edge already. I may just do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna base. Oh, God damn it! This is a clear engage. I can't ignore this. I don't know if I got the cannon or not. What did Maka just take damage from? <coughs> oh man, the drink is up already. Just can't catch a break here, man. I just want my infinity edge. At least I'm doing better than this Jinx, I got like 30 more CS than her, even though we've both been playing the same Fiesta. With almost the same deaths. Come on, Annie, I'm nice and juicy. Oh. Wow, I really thought she would have ult there, otherwise what's the point of flashing on me? Oh, she's not even gonna die there. Hmm. Guess I'll stick around for their blue buff. Don't worry, I'll get, I'm sure I'll get the base soon. There we go. Might as well stick around for the Gromp, would be a waste not to get it. That was a regular auto attack cancel, I believe. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna look at the video and just see every time I cancelled and see if anything felt off about it. But I remember a clip on Vayne where I just like try to auto attack and then the auto like starts going through but then cancels itself and Vayne is just standing still. I have a clip where that happens like three times in a row. And you can clearly tell it's not a cancel because she- It's not like I input a movement command, right? Like she literally just stops auto attacking and stands still. So weird. And I can definitely see the bigger overheal shield this game.
Okay, good thing she didn't have a stun there. Oh, overkill. Hey, once again, I didn't waste the ultimate, though. I got saved. Oh, man, the fiesta never ends. Yeah, let's do Baron. Can't wait for the Jinx ult steal or the Thresh Q steal. Careful, Makai. Okay, it didn't happen. Pleasantly surprised. Could've just stalled at him. Oh well. In base for a... Uh, Ramp Scepter, I guess. Can't really tell whether the damage blocked is like higher than usual or not. The damage blocked is always wild. It counts the damage that gets blocked from minions as well, I believe, so it's not, like, completely accurate. This is kind of risky. I'm going for it. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Okay. God damn, she actually had the range for that. Oh. Thank god. No, no, no! What did I get? Ah, oh, god damn it, there was drink syrups there that I didn't notice. So that fight was a fiesta. Aurelia? Aurelia? What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. It was like, where's she TPing? Where is she, how is she gonna help Makai with his TP? Where, which ward is she going to? Nope, to the fucking turret. <laughs> she could have definitely carried that. That's so funny. Go get our red buff. I'm on the job. I guess I can go for bot lane farm. The next objective is gonna be the Drake anyway, so I'm still where I need to be. Try and help. See, but th this is not where the fight should have been or when the fight should have been. This was completely unpredictable. <laughs> Thresh. My lord. God, his damage! What? Holy shit, the Maokai. Yeah, go to the Drake. <laughs> we'll go get this in head. Nice. Got a lot of AD now. Feel it. I pray this game doesn't end before my bloodthirst. Though I really want to check the combined shields. Like, look at this. This is already quite a decent shield by itself. Yeah, I should really leave. Is the red buff up? No. Raptors, maybe? I'll just take whatever I can on the retreat. Okay, this pink might be a bit risky, but... Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have bothered with the pink, but I will. God damn it. Damn it, I still got stunned. Alright, we got the trap and the ash ult. Nice one. Oh, did I even get stunned there? I'm not sure. My auto might have just cancelled there. Not sure. No, I'm basing, man. I'm basing. I need this blood thirst. This is the whole point of the video. Come on. Come on. You guys got this by yourselves. 
Wow, holy crap. Alright, we'll go for Falconon next. I actually think Parkanen is, funnily enough, like a much better item to build now these days, like on this patch, but not as a second item. Like it's gonna be, it's it should be less common now than it was previously, but at the same time, when you do build it, it is a much better item because it's it's a, now a, an option to so many ADCs. It's just that you build it later. That's why you see it less often now, or should see it less often. You could also see it as third item, I guess, but I definitely much prefer Bloodthirster. Currently. But yeah, this is a massive shield. It's definitely a really good option for just becoming tankier as an ADC, the overheal. Ah. And I think it'll be really good to rush or to use, sorry, on ADCs that rush lifesteal, like shield bow or board. Fucking Tibbers, man. Should have her. Hang on. <laughs> nice. Got her. <laughs> Just needed to kill Thresh fast enough that I could then ult Annie before she got to the fountain. <laughs> I want to see the Psycho try and, try and uh, kill me. <laughs> Come on, do it! Cool. He did get exhausted, to be fair, but... <laughs> didn't even get an assist. <laughs> Should've vaulted him once, so well. Okay, I hated this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.